Hello everyone, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are now on episode 44 of OFAC, which is wow. mind-blowing to me at the moment, because I didn't even think we'd make it past 20, but here we yep. are. Um, so we've got the Ox Father with us today, as well as Mr. Pete. Even How Zach. are we all? Good, thank you. Warm here tonight. I'm doing, you're... I'm doing good. It's, it's almost good like... Uh... England weather over here. It's been raining for like three weeks straight, and then oh. Pete comes on. He's got fucking Bambi's forest in the background. It's like, <laughs> oh, I'm jealous. because it's I'm like, like dude, it's 25 been, degrees been, here and sunny. Mate, it's, it's beautiful. fucking it sounds glorious beautiful. over here at the moment. I thought yeah, you were playing like one of those uh, like Amazon things where the background, like you can make. Oh, it play okay, yeah, like yeah. No, no, no. We're, I was like, uh, god uh, damn, that sounds like some HD fucking forest <laughs> going on back there, bro. I live out in the country, so it's just the wildlife's amazing around here. Fucking the manse. How dare you? It's fucking yeah. deliverance, Randy's way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, look, we got Toy Mafia in the chat. Hello, good sir. Uh, KJ Smith, Mr. Danny Lee. Hello. Danny Lee. Ah, and Mitch. Sorry, no idea what your last name. There we go. Cool. So, we what already have people in the chat. So, let's start off with a word from our sponsor. Only Fools and Collecting is brought to you by Watto's Scrapyard. They 3D print parts for your hard-to-come-by Kenner vehicles. They 3D print 1 12th and 1 6th scale head sculpts from a massive back catalogue. If there is a particular character you want he can design and 3D print it for you for a reasonable price. Check him out on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah, give him a shout because he is honestly the bollocks. He uh, he's done he's done me a turn a few times and yeah I get quite a bit off him so well worth well worth visiting if you want anything yeah. done. Um, it seems yeah. it's a partnership made in heaven. How long how long have we been sponsored by Watto now? So, Boy, uh, we've been year, sponsored. Uh, it's, mm. it's longer than that. Um, yeah. Form well yeah formally I think it's been about two years. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's good. been mm. it's been a while. Yeah. yeah he's brilliant. a great guy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I mean, that Darth Talon that popped up on my uh, time hop for from last year, so it's been uh -huh. a year since mm -hmm. I'd even painted that, and we were sponsored at the time when I painted that. So yeah. I can't believe how uh, how quick it's actually come around. No, uh, well, thanks, was, for, uh, thanks for uh, sticking with us, um, Sean. It's been brilliant. Yeah, he mm -hmm. he was like. Uh, I, I messaged him like a few days before the end of every month, like, "Hey, are we good for another month? Like, just let me know." Yeah. Just so I could budget accordingly. And he's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, it's great. It helps me out on my taxes. I'm like, dude, if I need to charge you more for your taxes, <laughs> bro, just let me know. It's not a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a problem at all. <laughs> yeah, he's great. Uh, he's great. He actually asked me to, like, do a receipt for him for his taxes. And I was like, well, I've never done that in a while. <laughs> yeah. And uh, he was pretty impressed. I was like, god damn, that's a good-looking receipt. It's a good-looking uh, receipt. He's on Google. Shout How do Google I write Docs. a receipt? Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. I was like, what does a receipt yeah. for taxes look like? Dude, it looked fucking fancy, dude. dude. Was... Yeah. Putting up some Microsoft template going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they nice. Yeah. Yeah. A clippy, how to make a receipt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking clippy, that is old school. Old school. Oh man. Clippy. I remember that dude. Yeah. Yeah. Little fucking paper clip. So I guess we should get into it because we tend to have this next segment go for quite some time. New this tonight. fortnight. Yeah. <laughs> I feel long tonight because I've got nothing. I know, last and, show I was like, God damn, Pete, how much time are we going to be here? And uh, <laughs> so straight on to you, Ian. <laughs> we don't have Steve yeah. tonight so either, so uh, yeah. No, I um, I ended up getting the Daft Toys uh, Joker set, the Ledger one. Um, because I was sick to my back teeth of my old, um, I think it's the Fire Toys one I used to have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember um, that one, yeah. And it's nice, it's just the coat was just fucking awful. Mm -hmm. So um, I, obviously, we tend to, I heard a bit about 1-6 Corner, and I've got a few bits on pre-order of them, so I ordered this um, from them, and yeah, it was really good really really like it the coat mm. the coat's really nice but what i've done is got a couple of earth magnets just to pinch it in at the back um but he, he's now finally wearing a coat that doesn't look as though it's a fucking bathrobe which suits me down to the yeah. ground um, nice. so what was the um shipping load do they ship with 
Ah, oh, so there's a bit of a story of the shipping. Um, now, okay. one six quarter amazing. Like they've Not been their really, fault. really good. No, no way, no way was it ever. <laughs> Preface this, was this, bad. This, yeah, this wasn't their fault in any way, shape, or form. So they, um, so I got talking to them because all their emails went into my junk box. So I just wanted the tracking number. So I messaged them mm-hmm. and got talking with them, and then we spoke about this the podcast and that. And they said, "Oh, we send you um, a Phoenix Joker scope, the one that the one of the new ones that they've they've done with the hair." And I was like, oh, yep. that's really kind of you. don't have to. Like, And they said, no, no, we'll send it along. You can review it, give it away, do, do whatever you like. So, oh, all right, cool. thank you very much. Yeah, so so when so they ship, so they shipped it. It came all the way over here, and then it got into the hands of um, my Herms, or Hermes, oh, or whatever oh, they were the fucking yeah. yeah, exactly. Herpes. And as soon as... Yeah, herpes. So as soon as, Jesus. so for for anyone who's not in the UK, not, yeah. Hermes, as soon as you see it, as soon as you see that it's been shipped with them, instantly you've you dread your heart fear. drops. Yeah, yeah, because you just think I've probably got an eighty percent chance that it's just not going to turn up, or it's going to turn up smashed up or fucked. If up. If it does, just, yeah, it's going to be kicked yeah. around the uh, the warehouse. They're just fucking appalling. So. Um, it turned up and they they literally just left it in the on my path at, uh, at the front of my house and knocked <laughs> and ran away, and I was like, well, that's fucking typical then. But it was all wrapped up in in their tape, all branded. I didn't think much of it. I was like, okay, I opened it up, and then it was then bubble wrapped. Then underneath the bubble wrap, it was someone had cut a hole in the box, and right. I was like. <laughs> Okay, this random, but I didn't think much of it. And then um, inside was this clothing set, nothing else. So the, the head was gone. So when um, when uh, when once its corner reached out to me, said, oh, we've just seen it's been delivered. How do you like it? Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm literally just opening it now, but it doesn't look like the head's in there. And Jen from once its corner is really nice. She Sweet was like, angel. Yeah, she's really, really nice. She was like, Oh well, we we definitely put it in there. Can you send me some photos? So I sent sent her the photos of it all, of it all, and she was like, "Yeah, we didn't ship it like that. We we don't use that oh. tape or that." So it looks like some fucker had been in. And I spoke to her yesterday, or it was either yesterday or the day before, and um, she was like, "The shipping company is like, um, nah, shouldn't have signed for it. We're not going to do anything." But they left it. They literally repackaged it so it didn't look like there was anything wrong, and they left it on my doorstep and didn't you know, didn't wait for me to sign for anything. They just dumped yeah. it and ran. <laughs> so she's going to send another one out um, and then we're going to give it away. But yeah, I was like, fuckers. And it's not the first time I've had a problem with them. I've ordered clothes before and they've literally just left it at someone else's house and then didn't bother um, giving me the, the door number or anything. So I've had to wander around my clothes. <laughs> Next thing you knew, photo. someone was walking past with your jumper on. You went, hang on a bit. <laughs> yeah, so, That's mine, yeah. mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some fuck walking past with my pants on or saying. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. So, with Ian, so see I, you next Tuesday shirt. And like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> see you next Thursday. So I'm going around with my phone, with the little photo off the tracking, trying to compare it against people's porches at like fucking nine o'clock at night in the dark. It's like, fuck, mate. Fuck yeah, man. they're just, just an awful, awful shipping company. Um, but you, But they don't know that it goes to them. Obviously, when they book... No, it just, it just gets picked it up, doesn't it, by the, by the lowest bidder, probably, this end. Um, yeah, yeah, so, probably, probably so that was a bit of a... It was a bit of a to-do, but we got there in the end. But, um, but yeah, this clothing set, I really, really like it. Um, mm. It's uh, Damn Toys. Uh, not Damn Toys, sorry, Deaf Toys. The uh, Their tailoring is just fantastic. Um, and they're, they're sensible about stuff as well. So that green jacket, it's all magnetised. So they okay. did away with all those horrible little poppers that you can only clip up once before they just fucking just snap off. And fall the yeah. yeah. So um, yeah. So most of it's magnetised. But what I am going to try and do is stick some earth magnets in the lining of the coat, so it kind of lines up more with the mm-hmm. um, like the inner jacket. But that's just me being fucking fancy. And then I sacrificed my Kylo Ren to nick the body out of it to use it on this. Um, and then just stuck a generic body on my Kylo Ren because that's a piece of shit anyway. So yeah, this is this is about all I've got. I've it's been a it's been a slow couple of weeks for me. I'm I'm waiting on emails yeah. to come through for everything I pre-ordered. Um, so yeah, I've got 
because I've got the sideshow scout. Uh, sorry, I've got the scout coming off of you. IG eleven, which oh, was yeah, going to be yeah. here between February and March. Well, that fucker's not turned up. Um, and then there's one other. Oh, Grievous. That's meant to be dropping oh, yeah, yeah. this month or next. So, yeah, I'm I'm not looking forward to the next couple of months. So I'm going to get absolutely caned. <laughs> and then I have to have a sort out because. I'm literally crammed now in here, so I need to, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. I really don't. But yeah, that was me. That was it. Have you got anything, Zach? So uh, on Amazon, I pre-ordered, um, we've talked about it a few times, the Ichiban Lottery in Japan. It's like a gas station, like 7-Eleven type of thing. You you get like a ticket and you rip. Sounds like a skin disease. Jesus, you rip uh, a little ticket, and depending on the, the letter that you get, it's the prize that you get. Uh, but some of the more premium prizes, like uh, Amazon uh, and some other retailers, they'll um, purchase them in bulk. And then you can, you know, instead of paying $5 for a ticket, you can just pay like 30 40 50 bucks for the, the nicer prizes. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I got it in. Uh, this is the Ava 1, the Awakening version. And uh, I, I know John and Eddie don't like Ava, so... I didn't want to bore them with another live unboxing of basically the same statue I already had a few months ago. But it is beautiful. The paintwork is great. Like, Bandai just kills it. And, like, just, like, the translucent arm, like, I know how hard it is to get stuff to be that clear with, mm -hmm. like, no bubbles. It's just, like, yeah. it's ridiculous. What's the halo possible. type thing hovering above it? Uh, so, in the anime, like, these, like, giant robots, they they run off of, like, a... It's called an umbilical cord. It's just like a big extension cord. Mm -hmm. And when they get unplugged, because they're like prototypes, and they're fucking like these huge robots. And when yeah. they get unplugged, they only have three minutes of, uh, it might be five, but they only have a few minutes of like internal power before they shut down. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I call them robots, but they're really like, um, they're just like giant humans, basically. Uh, and so occasionally they'll like be able to do things on their own and so the this kid is like fighting this crazy fight against a big monster and it's like the timer runs out and so the thing just like poof, like you know powers down <laughs> but it's yeah. like a do or die situation like he's the last person there and so the unit like awakens and mm -hmm. uh this show has like a lot of religious uh symbolism and so when it awakens all the lime green turns red and then like the mouth opens and then the halo forms and then he lost the arm oh, in the okay. fight but then the arm grows back with like this clear thing and it's just like to show that it's like achieve like the next because it's like um again there's a lot of religious things so like the unit almost becomes like a god in a mm. way and so mm -hmm. it's a crazy show like it, i probably explained that very poorly but it's fucking dope like that 10 minutes in the anime was like holy shit that was incredible I've never seen it. I keep seeing bits of it, and I keep thinking I should probably give it a go once in a while. I, I have. Never... Uh, I can probably give you some links to watch the movies for free, and then the anime is on Netflix, and I think it's Netflix yeah. worldwide, so you can watch it. Uh, you know, kind of wherever you're at. But um, yeah. yeah, yeah, that scene. I'll have to show it to you when we go off air. Just like play it for you. It's fucking dope. Mm. It's I'm literally like, like Sean's, you're just like yes. Sean's playing hooky from school. He's listening what a guy. for his next class. Yeah, <laughs> what a guy. Where are you yeah. it, I've learned something, I was... uh, Zach, because I thought I, I assumed they were like mechs. I assumed they had someone inside them, controlling them. Well, no, there is, there is people piloting them, but they're they're right. Like, oh, um, okay. Yeah, they're like um, it's it's they don't really tell you in the show. You kind of have to like read the other stuff, but mm -hmm. they're like living beings infused with human souls. Okay, right. Um. It's just, it's just awesome, dude. Like I've, I've been waiting for this like statue. Probably, I think I ordered it back in like February, March, and it finally shipped. And it kept like getting pushed back, pushed back, pushed back. And I guess they finally did the lottery in Japan. So I was like super stoked that mm. this came in today. It's not nice. bad. I like it a lot. The only, the only anime I'm really into is the Gaiva. Yeah. Okay. That, the Gaiva's I... a big mech too, right? No, no, Guyver's like a bio, well, like a bio boosted armor. Yeah, so the idea is that <coughs> you, so I'm going to go all geeky now. <laughs> is <laughs> that um, you have you had these aliens millennia ago who came who came to Earth, and they they pretty much made people as like the perfect weapon. 
So the idea is you'd have these things called zoonoids and they would look like normal people and then they would turn into these fucking great monsters. But they're not like huge mech type monster things. They're just yeah. monsters. And then um, the aliens themselves would have these Giver units, the, which was like a living armour. And okay. then what ended up happening was <clears throat> a normal human got hold of it, got hold of one and put it on. It was part of one of their experiments. And then they they realised that actually um, the human was way more powerful just with the Giver unit and it didn't really listen to them anymore. It kind of had free will. So they all just fuck off and leave. They're like, nope, not for me. They fuck off. And then um, obviously it goes right the way now to present day. And um, some they they find a Giver unit, the uh, yeah. Zoonoids. So they find this Giver Gy- unit. One of them runs off with it. Some kid finds it, and then you have the Zoonoids trying to get to the guy, trying to get the Giver unit back. And there's a couple of different Giver units. There's one that's damaged, and it's it's really good. It's worth it's worth watching because some of the fights are really good. Yeah. And then they did a film, a live action film in the nineties, um, uh-huh. which. Over here was called Mutronics. Over your end, it was just the Giver, and it had Mark Hamill in it. Really? So, yeah. But what they what they I did? Was so doing everything. So he's not the main <laughs> character in it, but on, on the front cover of it, he's on all of it. They plastered him everywhere, and then I mean, when I'm people went him. to see it, be, yeah, because Mark Hamill was in it, they were like, he just plays this cup, like he's he's a side character at best in it, but he does turn mm. into this giant cockroach thing, which is worth watching. Jesus. But the, the films are really Fair good. So they did that, and then they did another one called Dark Hero. But it, they're worth watching. They're worth watching. And I've got a six scale. Yeah, you got the cross there. Yeah. yeah, and I was, and I've bought a model kit for a Zoonoid Giver that I want to do. So that's done by, um, uh, oh fuck, Anthony Lethe, Biobooster Customs. He does, he does that one. Yeah. He gets the model kits and puts them on a body and stuff like that. And I've got a. Um, I have a Zoonoid model kit that I'm going to try and do the same with eventually but it's a long, complicated hard process so I'm going to try and probably yeah. ruin it and then end up having to buy one <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's worth, if you get a chance watch it, I, I find the links because someone put them all up on YouTube all the dubbed mm-hmm. ones so mm-hmm. I'll um I'll dig them out and I'll send them over to you they're, they're worth oh, watching, yeah, they're, they're really good the, the fight scenes are brilliant really, really good um so yeah, that that's my cool. little. Um, I think we just bored my little venture. <laughs> I think we did. The thing is, it's so good, but I make it sound so shit that people are just yeah. gonna go. Yeah, I'm never, never gonna watch that. Never, ever, ever. So that was probably the quickest. Uh, Jesus, Mark Hamill was busted former. in this Giver. My goodness. Yeah. It's not a good, the mustache is not a good look for Mark Hamill. No, no, he's got a big, he's got a big handlebar tash in it. Dude, he looks busted. My goodness, <laughs> he looks he looks hungover the entire way through. He really does. He looks like the absolute worst version of Reese from fucking Terminator. <laughs> yeah, he did. Oh my god, because he wears this giant fuck off coat. That, <laughs> yeah. Um, oh yeah, look at him. It's about twelve Jesus. sizes too big. Yeah, dude, he looks like fucking just. Oh my god, I, I can't unsee what you just made me look at. Nah. <laughs> It was a rough exactly. year for Mark Hamill, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> uh, what do we got next? So we have... New releases. So first up, we have the Hot Toys Spider-Man Antioch suit. Uh, 197 quid from Hong Kong. Depending on where you get it from in Hong Kong, you might also pick up some customs charges as well, if all is to be believed. Jesus, I've heard about that, tell you that much. Yeah, Dude. people getting stung big time on their uh, on their scout trooper and bike. Mm-hmm. Wow. So has this but been, then, uh, have, we, have you seen any evidence of it? Is it? I know a few people have said it. More so and more people have started lie, to it? chime in. Yeah. So, yeah, more and more people over the last couple of days started to chime in saying that they've been hit with stuff. And it seems if you go and get anything with uh, DHL, it's not like FedEx where they will charge you, then release your item. They just give it right. to you and then you will you will get a bill at some point. So people have started being hit for, for stuff they thought they got away with. Mm. So people I wonder what's changed. They're going to lose a lot of stuff custom. Cody. I think it's just I know, they I know just started it's... filling it out full value. I know it's the right. Yeah, that's what thing, I heard it was. You know, yeah. but um, 
you know, and the thing is, you don't <laughs> you don't have a leg to stand on if you got your if you got your knickers no. in a twist over companies like Starbucks and people like that not paying tax. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then you're importing yeah. figures in and not paying fuck all. You ain't yep. got a leg to stand on. No, no, no. It's, it's always exactly been a you know, always been a few moment when you get one just turn it up. But it's always with the full expectation, and you should be prepared to have to pay that if you get unlucky. Yeah. You know, if you're unlucky, it's the fucking um, waiting game where you're like, "Shit, what's going to suddenly pop up?" Yeah, I'm glad yeah. we fucking oh, poured that tea in that harbor. I'll tell you that much, we don't have to deal with any of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to deal with any, don't have to pay any of that shit. I don't think I've ever. The the most inconvenient thing that's ever happened to me is my mailman was being a fucking dick, and I had to go pick up a package from China and show my license. And I was like the end of the world. I was like, "Fuck this, dude! I fucking am but if you, never doing that shit again." But when you, so when we send stuff to you for open say, do you ever get hit with? Well, saying that we nope. mark it down low as well, don't we? So you wouldn't. even if you send, I think I, I think maybe if it's I, I, I saw. I think some comment. I think it's like a few thousand. Yeah, yeah, it's like five thousand dollars. I've, I've like looked that. it up once, and it's 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 at least hundreds hundreds for to go into the US. We've just we're just yeah. a small island with an incredibly greedy government. And they'll just take their, you know, their percent off anything they can. And, you know, if you're buying a used item as well, where somebody's already paid, um, you know, the duty, the VAT, whatever, the taxes in their country, they'll get it, you, they'll get you for it again. Uh, oh, they it, fuck you every which way. You know, it's, yeah. And obviously now that's now only items met... coming in, or if you send an item to, to Ian, he'll have to pay it too. No, 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 not within, no, not within the UK. In. Okay, no, just, just okay, I got and, you. And obviously now we've left the EU as well. Then that counts for we used to have you know free customs. Yeah, yeah, um, that sucks, dude. Within Europe, and now now that's screwed as well. So problem is as well is as people are starting to get a grips with it, you're getting some weird and wonderful stuff. So I went to order a head sculpt, and I got asked for my national insurance number, and I was like, Oh yeah, dude, you made a huge mm. fit about that. I was like, No, well, it's the same as your um, like a social security number. Yeah, yeah, it's like you're so it's like ordering oh, yeah, something and going, yeah. No, exactly. It's the same thing. I was like, yeah, I'm not. Nah, you're okay. <clears throat> Do you want my date of birth as well? It's like you can have the lot. Fucking pin size, bro. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> Manscaped but anyway, twenty percent. Doc, Doc Hock, <laughs> the suit. Good, good transition. Yeah, it's nice. It's, it's, it's that the was, CW suit, isn't it? It's good. It's great. Yeah, license like twenty weekly. I think it looks. Uh, mm. I like the hex pattern in the eyes and the suit. Yeah, uh, yeah. I love the yellow on the black color scheme. It's so mm. out there for Spider-Man. Uh, mm-hmm. I've never played this game, but I'm told this is like the final battle suit. Uh, yeah. But yeah, this looks great. I, I'm a little worried about the material. Like it just looks mm-hmm. like it. Like in that picture on the left, the way it's, it's creasing, is very unnatural. Yeah. Um, I I always see it's like it grinds my gears. Like idiots that don't understand how these things are made. They're like, you know, one side of the suit is sewn perfectly and the other side looks like oh. shit. And it's like, well, it's because it's mm-hmm. sewn in by hand, my guy. Yeah, I, it's not I've magic. Seen, I see, like, this <laughs> yeah. type of thing twice a week and it drives me bananas. Yeah. Uh, but no, this, they this figure They don't melt it, looks, melt it onto him, do they? Yeah, this figure mm. looks incredible. It looks... Yeah. I mean, this it, is stunning. Yeah, mm. yeah I, I really... <laughs> I, I stepped away from Marvel and was like, no, I'm not, I can't, I'm not doing it. And, um... I must admit that the Spider-Man stuff from the game really tempts me because all the suits look really good, and this just looks spot on. And yeah. for just under two hundred quid as well, it's not too bad. You know, I mean, it is it's terrible, really, but it's um, compared to what we're paying for other stuff. I don't think it's too bad, and you get that cool base with it as well. So, yeah, I, I like. Yeah, this. it's really striking. I could, yeah, I like the mm, I like the colour scheme. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then this this next one snuck up on me. Um, we spoke about it ages ago. Mm-hmm. Ezio's out now. The damn toy is Ezio for 161 quid. Um, this I'm insanely tempted by because this is... I love the Assassin's Creed games and mm-hmm. the and the Assassin's Creed the 2 onwards. Yeah, fantastic. They're my favourite. So mm-hmm. this and an old man Ezio would be perfect. Um, and damn toys always kill it. Those outfits look incredible. These are the the amazing. I had the um, I had the Altair. Altair. Mm -hmm. It was fantastic. It was absolutely brilliant. Everything about it was well thought out. The even stuff down to the knives were quite flexible, so you could keep putting them in and out of of all the sheaths, and they Mm -hmm. weren't they weren't going to snap. And do they they use the same time? They were detailed. Like, do they use real leather or is it 
is it pleather? Yeah. Yeah, no, it was leather. Or, well, it was That's leather the thing as well, yeah. so it's got the durability. It didn't have a lot of it. No, no, no. Really, Most of it's cloth, but obviously where where it is, you know, it's it's going to stand up to more um, reposing and, as you say, putting the weapons in and out and bits and pieces. So, mm. yeah, it's really nice looking. Yeah, yeah. Do they not Front do the thing? Sixty quid with the middle with the ring finger anymore? Where that's cut off? Is that not a thing? So in this game, he takes it to Leonardo da Vinci, the the wrist blade. And uh, there's a bit of a running gag. He goes, uh, right, I've just got to take your finger off. And he's like, what? He's like, no, nah, don't worry, I've designed that out. They don't have to, you don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> what, a, what is that? <laughs> fucking what was that design? in the original one, was it? Yeah, mm. they had so like, in... no ring finger because it came out like... Right. Yes, yeah, so the oh, idea okay. was you could go like that and it would come out like that. But in oh, some I of think, the later yeah. Assassin's Creed games that were set before Altair, they mm. explained it was like a... It was a way to easily identify anyone within the Creed. Mm-hmm. That was why they did it. It was right. more for that than it was mm-hmm. for the blade oh, okay. shooting out. Because yeah. it never made yeah. sense to me. Because even if you lost a finger and you you had the blade come out, you're still going to cut the shit out your other fingers. Okay. So mm. it did make it made no sense to me. To be fair, um, but yeah, you find out in some of the other games why they do it. Um, yeah, this looks good. I like. I, I haven't nice. played uh, this game. I've played uh, Unity. It's a fun game. Mm-hmm. It's a real fun game. Uh, I think I think I saw a picture today. I don't know if it was like a in hand photo. It looked like a, like a fairly good shot, and people were asking, you know, if anyone else had any pictures. But I mean, it looked pretty good from hmm. that photo. Yeah, yeah. They're assassins. The base of all the rest really have been good. brilliant, haven't they? So yeah, yeah, yeah. The bases. What I like about the bases on these is they're not fucking massive. Mm-hmm. So they're a decent size. They don't take up your entire shelf, and they they're almost like a mini diorama so yeah they, nice, they've really nice thought about stuff on, yeah how much space people have which is good mm. but yeah this this is fantastic I'd, I'd buy this all day long all day long um so yeah that was that was the assassin creed one and this is the mt toys ellie the revenger this comes with two sculpts and is 130 quid off one six corner um have any of you played the game yet this no. is for the second one is it yeah I've got Absolutely it, not. and I still haven't loaded it up yet. <laughs> I might have installed it. I've installed it, definitely installed it. And I do keep meaning to come back to play it, because I loved the original and the and the add-on, you know, the, the DLC. Um, yeah, I I am going to play it at some point. Um, I'll take it you've played it. I never, I never played it, no. So I, I got halfway no. through the first one, and then it was okay. I, it was all right. It didn't, wasn't my favourite game in the world. And then it, this was on the list of things to keep going back to try and play, but I never bothered. Right. And the thing is, I never turned my PlayStation on because the fucker sounds like it's going to take off. It's just too loud. Yeah. So you got to clean I, the dust out, bro. I've yeah. fucking done it. It's all. It's been like that since day one. <laughs> the moment I got a PS4 Pro, all it it just it's too loud. Like I play Spider Man on it and waking you, up the neighbors, bro. Well, you'd have yeah. to turn the subtitles on so you could hear them because otherwise, <laughs> I've got otherwise I've got it turned up so much it just wakes everyone else up in the house. Did you yeah. have a standard one before? Yeah, Is I've pretty much owned every that, type of PlayStation you can get. Yeah, it's a lot. Is it noisier. a lot noisier than the standard one? I mean, I the standard so, one's yeah. not quiet, but no. Um, I mean, the thing is, no. then I've got Game Pass and all kinds of shit for my Xbox, and I just end up playing that. Yeah. Yeah. And now they yeah. now they bought EA as well, and you get EA games pass chucked mm-hmm. in. I just I never turn my never turn my PlayStation on. Just don't bother with it anymore. No. What if I if Stephen I ever get around to playing it? Oh my gosh. Mm. Uh, Stephen Kircher in the Patreon chat. He got this figure, and I saw he posted. I think on OSR, uh, but he has a lot of quality control issues with this piece. I think he said something about like something about the elbows were messing up, and yeah. then the tattoos were rubbing off oh, the skin, dear. which. It almost looks like this is a seamless uh, body, so that makes sense that the tattoos probably yeah. wouldn't last that long. But he says he barely yeah. touched them once, and it was already coming off. And I think he said there was some paint rubs on the sculpt. It was just like a lot of disappointing the, things for him. The sculpts look yeah. really soft. They almost look like they're a 12, 12 scale head, kind of just blown up inside size. You know, they're, they're quite rough, aren't they? If I was to say to you like seven twenty p, that kind of that's yeah. what I call 720p sculpts because it just doesn't seem like yeah 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah it's just that I mean for, look for 130 quid 
it looks it looks quite good. But yeah, if if Steve's getting a load of fucking aggro with it, then obviously mm. it's not the best thing in the world. No, um, no, no. So and yeah, I haven't played the game, so I'm not <laughs> even sure. <laughs> yeah, so so it, let me. I pulled up his post. He said the tattoo's wearing off. The one of the elbow joints is broken, and the neck is damaged already. And this figure's only been out for a few days. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's not. They send in him a replacement. Uh, that I'm not sure, to be honest. That I just saw the post last night. Yeah, it'd be interesting to know if the if he does does get a replacement, if that's the same, like with the tattoos and stuff, or if he's just got a dodgy one or not. Yeah, I mean it's I a silicone body it. probably. So yeah, I mean it's not like they're gonna do the impossible. Like, so nothing sticks to silicone long term. No. Dye actually works really well, but I mean something like that, like an intricate decal. Yeah, you can't. No, There's no way. When I did the um, when I did the Darth Talon body for Sean, I used um, I used paint and fabric medium to make the to get the paint to stretch. So mm-hmm. once you put that on it, when you move the body about, it doesn't. It tends to stretch more as opposed to kind of breaking up. So that yeah. that was prob- that was probably the best. Thing I could find for like tattoos and stuff. I wouldn't recommend painting the whole body with it, but for mm-hmm. stuff like that, it seemed it seemed to work quite well. But yeah, you're right. I, there's not much you can do with um, with silicon stuff. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we we were sport the last two weeks. The whole three things that came out. Um, <laughs> that was it. There was really fuck all else worth mentioning that came out. This we'll make up kind of scale. Yeah. The next section is pretty packed. Pre-orders have been fucking insane. Like there has been so much shown that um, we might as well get right into it. Yeah. Coming soon. Seamless, Pete. Seamless. So let's start I've off. Come a long way in two years. Come a long way. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Never forget so, the roots, bro. No, no. <laughs> so I listen to some off. of the old stuff, and it's bad. Not, not not y'all's stuff, but like some old CW. I'm like, dude, this is so cringy. Dude. Yeah, mate, we are <laughs> still bad. All right, I'm going on mute for me because my my dog is yeah. kicking off. <laughs> That's because his dog is very much like John and hates reissues. Absolutely hates them, so he's kicking yeah. right off. So yeah, um, this is the Hot Toys Iron Man Two War Machine reissue. Um, two hundred and seventy three quid from Sideshow out. July 2022 to September 2022. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you think? Um, I think nothing is sacred in this world anymore. Um, just kidding. I, I mean, I think the thing with, with these older figures now, uh, if you're a collector that missed out, um, any figure that's above like five or 600 bucks, I mean, you have to think it's going to get reissued. Yeah. Uh, and if you think it's going to get reissued, I think you have to weigh... The retail price of that figure, what you think it, what you think it might be with the reissue, which they've been pretty generous with the pricing. They're not ups- yeah. insane by any means. So the the original retail of that figure, plus what you think it's worth to get it and and wait that year or two for it to come out, mm-hmm. and that should be your buying number, right? You know, you, mm-hmm. this figure was going for quite a bit. Like the Mark V, for example. I mean, that was like a thousand dollar figure all day. Mm-hmm. You put it up and you'd sell it real quick uh and and they reissued it for 400 bucks you have to wait a little bit for it to come in but you know i think the days of people being able to sell hot toys for that price not going to happen anymore you can already see it the mark 46 Mm -hmm. no one's willing to buy it uh some dummy some idiot bought anakin for 800 bucks but i don't think that that any release is is safe anymore no. Uh, and I, I don't think it's a terrible thing for the hobby, but I certainly think it, you know, when you have collectible figure on the branding, I think you kind of lose it a bit there. Um, I, I've always said that, you know, do something different to keep the first version with some value. I mean, they could have easily remade this with a standard hexagon base or the square base, the rectangle base and not giving you the diorama. I think that would be fine. Should, what they should have done was got the guy from Iron Man One and put his head. Oh, that would have been oh, spicy. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> put his head. That would have been real spicy. Um, Brian makes a good point. You know, new new collectors yeah. do get a chance to own it, and that's fine. But 
I mean, I think people are too entitled, right? Just because they're late to yeah. the game, they feel yeah, entitled yeah. to be able to get everything yeah. at retail. I don't know that that's the best attitude to have. You know, I mean, there's a lot of things that I would like to have now that I wasn't collecting back. I'd love to have a, a Gem Mint 10 base set first edition Charizard, but that's not going to happen. So, I mean, I think I think if you're branding yourself as a collectibles company, I, th I think if you're just doing straight reissues like this, uh, I think it's... I, I think it's probably bad form. Um, with that being said, if there was a grail that I had that got reissued, I'd probably buy it. So I'm, yeah, I'm not a moral compass on this at all. Yeah. But I, it um, really sucks because there's people that just bought or yeah. were trying to sell this for a lot that paid a lot when they got it. Uh, and that, that just, you know, tanks the value of their, of their money. And, you know, for things like statues, that's why I know Eddie and Mario, they always talk about like, you know, statues, you have a, addition size and yeah the the mm -hmm. promise yeah. is like this will no more than this will be made and sold uh and i think there's some value to that but there's weird things like first four figures did a run of spike spiegels for cowboy bebop and then they made so many it was like a one of whatever 400 500 and then they just made a whole another batch of 500 so it's like even that's not safe anymore yeah. i i don't know i mean i i've gotten into graded comics lately uh this past year um because you know, those will never be reissued. They might be reprinted, but mm -hmm. there there will be, uh, like when a comic gets reprinted, like a second printing, third printing, they'll change some of the colors or they'll change some of the art. So it's very clear that it's a reissue or like a reprint. And it allows people to read the comic, but there is, uh, it doesn't have that value that the first one had. Uh, and I think, I think Hot Toys would learn a lot to see what other collectible things are doing. Cause I mean, this just straight reissue crap is just real bad, I think. So I, I see. So I'm the other way. I I think, I think the problem is. Say, if Hot Toys at the very beginning said we are only going to make a limited number of each figure, and they were numbered, hundred percent. I can see why people would get so out their pram about it. But all right, they're collectible figures. Um, but if I go into if I go into a toy shop with my boy, and I pick up Pokemon figures. They all mm -hmm. say they're collectible figures, but we know they make fucking thousands of them, right? I, I don't see this as being any different. It's just slightly more expensive. Um, I don't. Un what I find, what I find, is that you get a lot. The people that seem to Yay, have the biggest issue with this type of reissuing are people who predominantly collect statues, and they apply the statue logic to hot toys, yeah. and then they're like, "Nope, shouldn't reissue anything." That's it. It's spitting on the collector and all this kind of old shite. Um, mm -hmm. And it's not. Hot Toys have never once turned around and said, we're only going to make like 6,000 of these and that's it. So mm -hmm. they look at the market and they go, okay. Yeah, I mean, you see a dude selling a figure for a thousand bucks, you're sitting on those molds, dude. It's, it's your printing money. It's exactly. like the, you're just and, printing money. Exactly. <laughs> and, and if I'm Hot Toys, I'm looking, I'm looking at the market to see what's popular, what's not. And I'm looking at the secondary market and I'm going... There's Bellens who are trying to sell this for a thousand pound, and there's dickheads who are buying it for a thousand pound. Well, mm -hmm. why can't I get in on that? It just my mind boggles, and you know we spoke about it before. Like I've got the DeLorean, I've got the Back to the Future stuff. The price of that shit is is mental at the moment. If Hot Toys suddenly announced that they were going to reissue the lot, I'm not going to I'm not going to count my pram about it. I'm not. It doesn't affect me at all. No. I've still got it. It's sitting in my collection. I can enjoy it, and the new stuff's not even going to be out for a year, two years at the most. So I just, I don't understand the issue with. I don't get the issue with reissues. It just, it's a, it's a non-point to me. Um, <clears throat> I completely agree. People I think just seem to get really, really wound up by it. There's, there's too much um, elitism in this hobby as it is, and and that is. You know that is driving these prices to insane levels. You know if you don't pick up a fit like now, like Ian, you're just pre-ordering everything, aren't you? Because if you yeah. don't pick something up when it's new, then um, it's only got to catch a wave, and it's kind of all of a sudden, you know, it's double the price. And and I don't think that's people buying them to invest. It's just that that is the way it's going. And I, I'm all for. You know, we've always said, don't buy these as a nest egg. They're not a retirement fund. You can't... But most of them will keep their value. That's that's the only real thing you can say, is that very few figures lose value. Um, some some do. Um, 
but most of them will keep their value. So you're not going to lose money, but they're not something that you can um, count on being worth four, five, six times what it was worth when you bought it. And uh, I think, like you said, Ian, you know, you bought your DeLorean on the secondary market. I bought mine. Mm. We paid a price that we were happy to pay. And that was way over yeah. what retail was. But we paid that. Mm. So we can't have any argument that then it comes out two years down the line, they re-release it and it's 400 quid. We'll buy another one. Mm. You know, I mean, if, if if you've overspent and you've overstretched yourself and you've got yourself in trouble over it because you've spent a £1,000 on a Mark 46 and you couldn't really afford it, then to reissue it, you know, you're, you're the one that's that's done something that wasn't, right for you um and i and i think that you know i don't like the elitist thing where people say oh well i've got these figures and you can't ever have them well why not you know and they say hot toys owns this this figure they've made this figure it's their property um yeah get in on it i mean you know nobody can without hot toys people wouldn't have had the figure in the first place so you can't have a go at them for wanting to kind of you know cash in on it again for me it's about the numbered run if if they turn turn around and said we've only made X amount of these, fine. People can complain all day long. They haven't. They've never once said no, that. No, but in the but with statues, is that not is not a big part of that the justification for charging a lot more money than you do for a one six scale figure. You know, they are, I know they're often bigger in scale and they're heavy and they they use you know, but but I think a lot of the cost in a statue is that you know that you're getting a um, a limited edition. Mm-hmm. I think it depends on the statue. Yeah. Um, I yeah. Uh, I don't know. I I my problem is I would have rather had this been a normal base. I don't really care that they're issuing the war machine, mm-hmm. but I mean you got to keep some value for the people that bought in when this first came out or the people that have had it. Um, that's more where my issue lies. Um, you know, you gotta yeah. you gotta keep but some sort of. But if you exclusivity if you bought this when it first came out, you've paid less than this anyway. Yeah, potentially. I mean, the, I mean when, when you do inflation, the numbers are like right on inflation. I mean, you're mm. talking like ten, twenty bucks. Like, yeah. it's almost nothing. It's not like they're gonna charge six hundred bucks for this, right? No. I mean, they're charging very close to retail if plus I'm inflation. I hate the diorama bases. They do anyway. They're all way too. Yeah, big yeah. I mean, this isn't they're the best base, anyways. Shit. But yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, what do right, you guys think? Maybe they... mm. What do you guys think is the maybe... next mm. reissue? I'm, Ooh, I'm thinking what, Anakin. another Iron Man. I think it has to be Anakin. <laughs> has to be if 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 people mm. are selling them for or like o- or a New Hope Obi Wan to go with the with the show maybe or something like that. But yeah. I mean, there's yeah, got to be. Um, I mean, I think at some point, like you know, now that the now that you know the way the MCU is with a lot of new unproven characters, you know, like Shang Li, the figures came out at Walmart, the Marvel Legends, and that dude is mm-hmm. peg warming. He's supposed to be like the main yeah. character of his own film mm-hmm. and like yeah. kind of like the linchpin of the whatever phase four or five, whatever they're on. I think that you're going to start seeing a lot more reissues, you know, because they so have all the that. molds. This is a classic <laughs> suit, like an iconic figure. I think mm-hmm. you're going to start seeing a lot of Star Wars reissues. I think you're going to see a lot of yeah. DC reissues. Well, and Marvel Pan and reissues. Chewie are going for ridiculous money. Even the money niche ones. As well. yeah. I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if those came out again because Harrison Ford, you know, supposedly the rumor is, you know, they're not signing on on the Bespin one. But, um, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Just a final on this, I think that um, maybe maybe you're right, Zach. Maybe they should, should have gone the, uh, dare I say, Asmuth. And, and don't worry, Danny, I'm an Asmuth fan as well. I the love slim. this. The, the slim. slim is such yeah. a simple. Less is more. They give you less accessories mm-hmm. at a reduced price. Yeah. But you and can no buy can the figure then. and display it in your collection. Yeah, because and the like reason it. I say that is because um, I don't know how long you've you, how long you've been collecting, Zach. Uh, six five, scale since 2017. Ten. Was that four or five yeah. years? Yeah, um, me and Ian probably ten years. Um, yeah, you guys I have think, been much longer. I think the market now is incredibly difficult for most people on a, a normal income to build a collection you know we oh, yeah. me it and really Ian have is. said many times over that if we'd only just come into this hobby we would no way we'd be able to have collections that we've got we got in mm-hmm. kind of at the right time and we have made a bit of money on some figures and we've upsold and we've traded and things like that so i think it is important to have these because you need to have those new collectors coming in but 
I think maybe the slim route would be better. Um, yes, you can have One this figure, that... you know, but yeah. if you want the figure, then it is going to cost you six hundred dollars on 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 eBay. Yeah, you know, but like maybe no roadie head sculpt and like a few less yeah. mm-hmm. switch outs, like you know. Um, one thing that I, I know they will never do, but Hasbro does this, and it's always like a fun thing, right? The fan pull figures, right? Mm. Like, what oh, do yeah. you want mm-hmm. to see reissued? I think that would be so cool if Hot Toys did that. Yeah, they would probably that'd be brilliant. But yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, look Definitely. at our MMS catalog, and you know, fans vote, and then you mm-hmm. know, it gets Pick down something. to five, and they vote again. So, um, what do we got up next? So up next with the Hot Toys, Miles Morales, the Bodega cat suit at 190 Ugh. quid in Yuck. Hong Kong. Um, <laughs> Yuck. You spoke a lot about it, this on uh, CW, didn't you, Zach? Um, I, I mean, it's my favorite character. In fact, mm-hmm. they were saying I should rename the show Collecting Miles, which, yep. considering <laughs> the copyright is open. Um, I got Miles on my desk right here. I actually got three Miles, four Miles figures on my desk right now. Wow, um, that's a but, big desk if you can fit four Miles on there. Oh, it's a huge desk, dude. This is like, <laughs> it's like a third of England. Right now. Um, we, uh, I mean, it's. I think it's okay. Um, I just don't. I, I just really like the classic PS5 suit, like the mm-hmm. default yeah. PS5 suit. Yeah, yeah not yeah. a big fan of this one. Um, but I mean, I'm sure there's people that'll like it. I mean, they're posting it in crazy dynamic poses. I think Eddie mentioned this is like the Scarlet Spider equivalent, which I thought was really cool. But Scarlet Spider is like one of the most mm-hmm. uh, popular variations in the comics. So mm. um, yeah. I, I haven't played this game, so I don't really have that much experience uh, with what this would be. No, in the game, I haven't but, played the. I mean, it looks okay, but it's just not for me. I hate it. I, I'm I intrigued to know how the cat the ends up like with the mask on. He gets bit by a spider too, maybe. Does he? I don't know. Jesus. You I don't know. A, a lot of those spiders <laughs> on about. a cat. Yeah, you try and put a collar on a cat that can't uh, take your eye out by let that <laughs> yeah. mask on it. Fuck that. Um, I guess I just uh, don't get the skates thing. Like, I mean, it's kind of like with, Le- with Lego, they always build like Spider-Man art, like ATVs, and I'm like, I mean, this motherfucker can leap from building to building. Why does he yeah. need a fucking via- a yeah. car? It's like when I was a kid, that. right? I had a I had a Superman. That you you could get a, you you got a car for him right? You put <laughs> Superman in, and when you when you press the button, these little wings would come out. And well, sorry, you'd start off as Clark Kent. You press a button, these wings would come out. He would then change to Superman. And even as a kid, I was thinking, this is fucking pointless. <laughs> Fucker can fly. Yeah. He can run super fast. Why does he need a? All right, he might need a normal car to blend in, but why the fuck does he need a supercar? Like, there's no need for it. Um. So putting roller skates yep. and stuff is polar nights. <laughs> Sweet Jesus, it's like the perfect evolution of beards. <laughs> Here, if you want to do perfect oh, evolution, it's like that. It's like charming. There we go. Yeah, well, that's yeah, <laughs> backwards yeah. evolution. Yeah. There you go. Uh, yeah, I like that one. <laughs> what a guy. Um, yeah, that's probably love that guy. Day, <laughs> yep, he's my new favorite. Um, yeah, no, I, yep. I just I dis I dislike this. I think the head sc- I, I've only just noticed. It. I think the head sculpt almost looks animated compared to the rest of it. The eyes are huge. It's really, really just mm. basic. There's no shading. There's no highlight. Nothing. It's just black, red, and white, which makes it look really animated. Which then makes it look really weird next to the rest of it. Um, actually, it, it, it looks like Miles has put his pajamas on. Um, yeah. Variant Superman fix it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're all nonsense. So yeah, I mean, yeah, not for me. Hundred and ninety. Or you have him with like um like a like a cold weather suit on or something, and you're like, well, I don't think he needs that either. Yeah, exactly. Just fucking pointless. Yeah. So yeah, that was um that was the waste of time. Fucking miles. And then we have the uh, <laughs> the next Marvel one is the infamous Space Wizard. Yep. This is at Q3 2021 and is a hundred and ten quid. Um, I don't know why I don't know why no one bought one of these out sooner. Yeah. And for a hundred and ten quid, that's awesome. I haven't got a bad thing to say about this. They hit you on the price point, it looks good. I if you ever wanted to think... know what Jimmy Savile would look like if he crawled out of his grave. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> He's <laughs> <laughs> definitely got his hair. Well, that's fucking ruined that for me. <laughs> Jeez, I, I had to, to Google that and uh, 
That's, <laughs> fuck, that's fucked up, Pete. That's can we? Where am I going? We gotta share. We gotta. Sh- we gotta share this, dude. That is. That's fuck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, Holy yeah. shit, Pete! Yeah. My God. Um, I yeah. I don't think there's a a better way to do this figure than with with uh, the rooted style here. I don't think you could do this with plastic. Mm-hmm. It just his hair is yeah. so like thin and and fine in the film. There is 100% no way that this could be sculpted. I know Eddie didn't like it being uh, like the rooted style, but it's just that type of hair. Yeah, I mean, it'd just be a big Mm. fucking chunk of plastic. There's no way you'd be able to sculpt it that fine. Uh, The hands look great. I think the only thing, because doesn't he fly in the movie? Like he does like the levitation thing. I think maybe a flight scan would have been nice, but I mean, that's that's such a small complaint. And even with with, uh, something like this, you know, you could, uh, what are we doing here? Now I thought I've killed my it. camera. I'm okay. trying to work out to get my camera back on. Your your camera's on, my guy. I don't know what you're talking about. We yeah. can see you. Um, you could no, even just, just lift can't see the. Me. You could lift the little crotch grabber up to make him hover, but yeah, you could a, always like just get one of the. Um, in fact, I've got one here. One, it's just a sideshow with their Django did something really cool with the stand, where the stand had a long one of these. Waste yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. That you mm-hmm. just plonked into the top, so you could take out. You had like a pole that you could take out, and you could put that in, or you could um, just have the crotch grabber. grabber. So they could, they could have done mm-hmm. something like that, but it, yeah, for 110 quid, if you've got to buy a flight stand, it ain't gonna break the bank. So yeah, I think that's probably one of the better ones. So it's gonna get really weird now with uh, the next one's the Star Race Toys Ninja Batman. <laughs> this is the normal version. Uh, out November 2021 to January 2022, and it's 217 quid. There's a there's an exclusive version with an unmasked sculpt as well that looks really good. Um, mm-hmm. The more I look at this, the more it grows on me. And I hated the film, really hated the Batman Ninja yeah. film. I think I've but seen it, but the, I don't remember a lot about it. This figure is yeah. so fucking expensive. My goodness, dude. Two sets in, yeah. It's three hundred bucks in the U.S. Um, I I watched a clip of this movie and I fucking hated every single second of it. I <laughs> yeah, was it, like, it's this not a good looks. film in the slightest. I yeah. love the way the Catwoman looked, and I kind of was digging the way this one looked. And yeah. I watched like, and it was like a five minute cut of like different scenes, and I was like, I f- don't understand why this is a thing. Why it, it just. Mm. I don't know. I didn't even make it halfway through before I turned it, it off. It was so mm-hmm. stupid. Like, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's not. It is in no way a good film in the no. slightest. And it's um, quite old, isn't it? It's, it's quite a while ago. Um, yeah, it's Star Wars yeah. toys are weird though. They got it's the funny, license just, for it. Yeah, hmm. and, and then a ton of sporadically. From it. Yeah, I mean, they released. Uh, they did the Ninja Batman. Ages they ago. They did the joke. Maybe as well, a couple of years ago. Game. Don't, no, I don't think they did yet. No, they didn't do it. And then no. they just, yeah, no, then they just did nothing. They just stopped. Then all yeah. of a sudden, we're getting fucking everything else. But mm. I like it. It's, yeah. But it's just a shame the film was shit. And then they've also done the Harley Quinn of, as well, haven't they? This one. He looks cool. Um, movable eyes, seamless body. It looks, you know, it looks quite good. But again, if the, you know, if you're not into the um, the source material. Yeah, and this one's 193 quid, so it's still expensive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. You get a fair bit with it, but the film's just shit. It wasn't a good film in the slightest. No. I mean, no. the figures look good. The figures look, mm-hmm. look like they've jumped straight out of the screen. It just happens to be a crap yeah. film. Um, yeah, Who, who's so buying yeah, them? We, mm. Yeah, well, I didn't, I didn't think the Ninja Batman would sell, but apparently people have been all over that. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then we got this one for you next, awful Pete. Too. Ugh. One for me. Yeah, it's not great. Uh-huh. One for you, Pete. Yeah. The, now um, I'm trying to pronounce Arwen. In Arwen, in Death yeah. Rock, Arwen. apparently. In a Death Yeah. Rock. Yeah, which um, is, you know, not very cheery. No. See, um, there's two versions of this the exclusive with a chaise lounge for 175 yeah. quid, or a standard without the chaise lounge for 130 at uh, Q3 mm-hmm. 2021. Yeah. Um. It's a bit of. I'm no interested. I, I, 
I like Asmus. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not speaking. I, I can't speak about them beyond the Lord of the Rings franchise because I don't own any of their other figures. Well, apparently, that the the, um, the mask was an Asmus one, wasn't it? That's pretty good. Um, First one. So I'm Stan not it, sure. Zach might be able to explain why why there's such a why Danny gets so ribbed about it liking Asmus. Is there what's the what's the history behind that, or is there not really any? Uh... I don't know. They they just shit on Asmus a lot. I think because yeah. of like the final products, like some of them look real goofy. Uh, and Danny loves uh, Lord of the Rings and Asmus, so I, I don't know. I think it's like no, I love my Lord of the Rings. I don't and, really and, yeah, get. Right, I don't the... really participate in the meme because I mean I think they make okay stuff. I think they fuck a lot of things up, but I mean yeah. generally speaking, the, like I think the, the head sculpts Gandalf aren't pretty good. Right? They they miss they miss the mark on the head sculpts, but the the outfits, the weapons, everything's brilliant. And I, I love my Lord of the Rings setup. Um, they can't nail Aragorn, which is a big problem because he's um, you know pretty much the main yeah. guy in it and i really mm -hmm. they've done three versions of him now and i hate all of them i've got the aci toys one so I, you know I'm, I'm happy with that but um no i, I like asmus and i like the fact that they're going you know deep into this franchise but i'm not sure who wants this it's not really i mean yeah it's Liv tyler in the movies and she's a, a beautiful woman but this doesn't really look like her and like when we talked about galadriel a couple of shows ago the the the, the other one you'd never heard of in um uh, do you really want to be having basically dolls in dresses on your um you know in your display it's not she's not a major character she she kind of is she's the love interest of aragorn and this apparently i had to have a look look it up this is when she gives up her immortality as an elf and becomes mortal so that she yeah. can um kind of uh, you know live with 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 a human um but yeah yeah and i think yeah it's not for me but i you know they they're bringing a lot more stuff out and we have um teas of you know teases of uh Gollum, um and the uruk high and obviously that legolas helm's deep looks okay how head sculpts a bit off again but this one's weird and why you'd want this massive great stays long i mean you're gonna have someone sitting with her or i don't know it's it's a, it, it's it's a weird one. choice it's, it's, a, it, a, it's weird a weird choice one. for yeah. an accessory yeah. a yeah. chaise lounge mm -hmm. you think really yeah, yeah. It is. so it's, it's not, not one that i want me. from my collection um and danny said he sticks to the armor that's where they excel mm -hmm. in the armored you know the the, the, the warriors and stuff the, the kits really yeah. good metal weapons things like that so um yeah Oh, Danny did buy yeah. Galadriel. Ended up selling it. Yeah, we didn't like it. It's too dolly. Right, selling too, it right away. It's too, yeah, it's too Barbie doll. And, and it makes it more and more difficult to kind of justify what you're doing to your other half when you can say, oh, yeah, I've got a, you know. Uh, it, it, I've got it a does, dolly. Yeah, exactly. And, and they yeah. normally take the piss. I think I think Zach's quite lucky in, uh, I think uh, he, um, you know, Victoria's quite USA, supportive really. of his... Uh, of his hobby, whereas mine's very flippant. And if there's anything that borders on, you know, a dolly, then I get ripped for it. So, um, yeah. Not, I don't, I don't not... know. Victoria's supportive. She rolls the eyes. I was like, babe, yeah, I'm buying yeah, five yeah. Sentinel Miles Morales. She's like, why? And I'm like, well, because if I buy three, I get two free. And then Steven <laughs> and Sean want one. So I can, like, you know, we could all get it for cheaper. And she's like, you need three? And I was like, well, you know, I want to have one in the outfit, one in the standard suit, and then maybe one on mast, or like keep one just in case I lose a part or I'm do some <laughs> custom work. You never know. You never know. No. Yeah. <laughs> Always have a spare. Yeah, that's why you start pushing, the, you pushing your luck, don't you? Um, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we were getting there. We are absolutely getting there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then while we're on a medieval kind of theme, we've got the 3-0 yep. draw a moment was teased. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. Apparently, that now what I do like about this with 3 zero is apparently they're releasing the next as a separate part that you buy separately um, to save and the shipping. they've forgotten it, honestly. Yeah. They fucking have. I mean, what the fuck is that about? <laughs> I don't get why they didn't, why they Looks won't. Like Ed's neck from 90 Day Fiance did it's on. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I didn't realise. I can't remember in Game of Thrones when he ever had his head cut off and just lopped back onto his body. No. It just... No, that was... Um, yeah. 
Rob Stark with the wolf head. He's the only one I can think of that had that done. Yeah, yeah. But so um, I, I, generally, yeah. it's it's pretty good. But yeah, yeah. fucker ain't got a neck. No, yeah. I like it. But then you've you, all you got to do is do that, do your your magnet trick, something like that, with the, like you did with the mall. So oh, it, his, it don't his, his... it don't take much to to raise the neck a couple no. of mil. No. Um, yeah. yeah, I like it. He he's probably my favourite character in um, Game of Thrones, and uh, oh, really, I kind of like the uh, I, 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 when I um, we watch the same put him on the ones. on the show <laughs> sheet. I said uh, he's medi- medieval Iron Man with his arc yeah. reactor on his on his uh, yeah. chest there, but <laughs> no, he's a cool character because he doesn't. You know, he's very he's he's loyal to. Um, Khaleesi to the end, and he's a he's a man of honor, and uh, he's he's just pretty cool. And that sword he's got there, although it's bent as fuck, like the handle's bent in, and then it's it's lopsided the other way as well. That's the um, the the sword that he gets from um, oh, I can't remember his name. The 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 big guy. It's his family sword, and he steals it to piss his dad off. Um, but he can't he can't yeah. lift it, so he gifts it to. Uh, Jorah to kind of use in the in the final battle, but um, it's a cool sword. But yeah, um, I like it. I won't be buying it because I've not got into the Game of Thrones. Was that the and... Tully sword? Yes, it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yes, Samuel Tully. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's over the hearth, the fire in in his dad's, and he and he and he just nicks it and runs off with it, doesn't he? But um, yeah. a bit like Eddie said, uh, my enjoyment of the of the series really was ruined by that last se- season. And um, yeah. that's kind of what was the last nail in the coffin for me to not, you know, not start a Game of Thrones. Although some of them are brilliant, like Brienne of Tarth looks amazing. This looks really good. They're really hit and miss though. Some look really good, and others look yeah. utter shit. I mean, the Jamie in armor is going to be really good. Um, yeah. Jon Snow oh, looks a bit so anemic. Mm. Yeah. Like, I just yeah. they're, they're really hit and miss, and it's a program I'm just I'm done with. That, and I just mm-hmm. think as it doesn't matter now. They could they could nail every single one, and I just wouldn't be interested. Yeah, no, no, no. That ship has sailed. Yeah, long gone, long gone yeah. for me, mate. Yeah. Um, Star Wars ruining got... things again. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, they're like, yo, make a trilogy, deuces, bro. Fuck this season. <laughs> yeah, they're like, yep, <laughs> yeah, <bye." laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're like, yeah, uh, dragon, burn everything. Yeah, okay, we're done. See you later. Bye. <laughs> yes. um, yeah, yeah. So, but if we're talking Shame. about in the same kind of ilk, but way better, um, The Witcher. So Buzz Toys, yep. The White Wolf, um, comes out Q4 2021, 125 quid. For 125 quid, I will buy this fucker all day long. Mm-hmm. Looks good. I think it looks really good. Really, real good. really good. I don't, I'm not a fan of the second head sculpt. The... Um, the grinning, layering one, but the, mm-hmm. the the standard one looks really good. I haven't watched the show, yeah. but yeah, it looks great. If you not, no. no, it does. It it's does good. Clone Wars, so it jumps about. Oh, it's like yeah. a episodic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, but what you? Yeah. But again, same in Clone Wars. If you go online, you can get episode lists where people have put it Shit into actual order. chronological yeah. order. Chronological and said order, if yeah. you start mm-hmm. here and work your way through, it makes way more sense. Um, I love the program and any and any program that gives us the song toss a coin to your witcher perfection <laughs> like yeah definitely yeah. so yeah, no, I, good, I'm, good I, am, tunes, yeah. I am tempted by this but then and i've what, got nothing i could pair it with no how do you i mean a lot of people have have done there's been tons of customs either you know that people have knocked up themselves and i think they've they've varied from awful to, to really good um, where do you think this one Depends comes? Could you are think this is... Yeah, exactly. But from your point of view, would you, Ian, would you say you know that this is kind of better than anything you've seen, custom wise? The stand, the standard head is yeah, yeah. Because I yeah. don't like rooted hair and the outfit as well. I mean, you know, in terms you know, outfit wise, yeah, outfit wise looks way better than anything else yeah. that's been out there yeah. so far. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, mean, don't really get me wrong. If you're going, in... if you're going video game, there's yeah. some really good customs of Geralt, mm-hmm. but um, yeah. The ones I've seen from the TV program, this is leaps and bounds ahead of most yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, and again, it's one of those things where people might 
go, oh, for fuck's sake, man, I've just spent, you know, seven, eight hundred pounds putting my custom together, and now they've bought this set. Well, you know, that shit happens. Um, That's the game you're playing. We've, we've all been there. We've all, we've all put together, uh, you know, custom figures that we thought were the absolute nuts at the time, and then uh, because you couldn't, there was no other option and then somebody brings <laughs> one out and you're like yeah that's think that's about the poor fuckers that. doing the blurgs yeah i know yeah <laughs> fuck that guy dude yeah, yeah. Fuck that guy. yeah. <laughs> i don't like that guy fuck that guy <laughs> um yeah that's that's hilarious actually so oh, is yeah, that a certain, ge certain german friend of yours uh zach i don't know he just looks like a goofy idiot <laughs> he always comes after sean ted's sculpts fucking hate that guy dude yeah, I remember you had a little, oh, see, I don't little, know um, that. You, yeah, and then you went and investigated his Instagram, and he was into, like, adult nappies. He was diaped up, wasn't he? I don't know. I don't think it's that's the same guy. No, but... he does do them. He does do them. What? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, He prints on. them off, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, the you're talking about the nappies, or...? I'm the guy, so One of the guys that prints and sells no. the blurgs is Isn't the same guy that you had that argument up? with. You had an argument oh. with him about the about that um, Din Jarin head sculpt, and uh -huh. you said that you went and looked on his uh, Facebook profile. No, 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 yeah, yep. whatever. Yep. That's not not what I'm talking about. But if you enjoy the feeling of sitting and wallowing oh. in your own brand for fun <laughs> and sexual pleasure, <laughs> that's probably. The and then best, you're coming the at my paint job, yeah, and saying it looks like shit. I guess you would know, probably. Yeah. Anyways. Oh, uh, fair <laughs> enough. Well, I just, I just the best description yeah, I've ever had your, in my life. Your, your own your brand. Own. Brand. Brand, yeah. <laughs> That's what I do, baby. Well, I just merged the two people for, for convenience of the podcast, but I apologize yeah, if I've uh, offended anybody. That's all right. Because <laughs> yeah, that would offend someone. Like, yeah. sure if someone said I was shitting yeah. myself, I'd be like defending my arm. Yeah. <laughs> what do we got up next? Brilliant. So up next, we have... Um, so this was interesting. Uh, so we've got Steve on, because he'd be... He'd be all over this. He will be. It's so crazy that he's doing this. Yes, yeah. well, like, when you go on his when you go on his website and you go to his uh -huh. shop, he has a figure section that links you to three zero and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, but to go on his own though, that's wild. Dude. Yeah, it's really good to see. He's probably had a look and gone, well, if everyone else is making There's money, some money here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I love it. I think it's a really good idea. He's um, like, I'm not doing the fucking Expendable Six. I'm fucking making. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, he sells. Um, he does like he does like the trilby hat and stuff like that as well. That he's he's into everything. I like, when you go diversify, his, well, my guy. Yeah. Well, when you go on his website and you have a look at the stuff he does, he does a bit uh -huh. of every, absolutely everything. He he sells paintings and stuff like that. He's you got to he diversify, my guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me look. There, I was thinking he was just a big meathead, but he gets into everything. Um, yeah, yeah. He's got to make it so his kids' yeah. kids don't have to work. Yeah. So yeah, I think. When these go up, which should be soon, um, I'd be very tempted by the Rambo. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a, a Cobra. I could leave that, but yeah, Rambo would be good. Mm. Yeah, people like Sean Dabbs and stuff like that have all been working on it. So, yeah, it looks. My um, God, mm -hmm. you can get a yeah. lot of replica stuff. You can get all the Rocky trunks and the Rocky, yeah. uh, like the. I don't know what you call it, like all the right. boxing robes, the capes. Holy shit. Mm. Yeah, he, he does. Dude, I hope he makes some Creed figures, like not just of him, but like Adonis. That yeah. that would be the grill. Yeah, yeah, that would yeah. be good. Like, well, a, a fedora coming, surely. My goodness, pulling the wool over, yeah. you pay one hundred fifty dollars for a fedora. Exactly. Uh, yeah, that's what I was on about the other day. It was like, no, nah, you're mm -hmm. right. I'll just I'll go and buy any other fedora that looks exactly the same. If I want <laughs> to wear a fedora, yeah, yeah. not that yeah. I would, because I'm not a cunt. Um, <laughs> yeah. Or Indiana Jones. <laughs> That's different. An indie yeah. fedora is, is different to the funny little mm -hmm. pork by Nick, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, Nick yeah, yeah. hat that they mm -hmm. that he was wearing. Um, so anyway, enough about... But yeah, they will look, uh, look forward to seeing some more of those. They look good. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, so next up, we have present toys. Uh, so this is this is the Shawshank Redemption figures. It's a two pack, one hundred and forty quid, out twenty twenty two Q two. Um, yeah, uh, I think this makes way more sense than some other stuff they've been doing. But like I said before, I think they're just going through the high end customs, going, okay, we'll do one of them, we'll do one of them, and we'll do one of them. They're just plucking them. There's no logic to to them. Um, no, um, and it's almost like I don't know about these ones, but it's almost like there's a there's a collector I can think of on the groups, and he only he only metal. collects these. Really, yeah, yeah. It's almost like they've gone through yeah. his collection and gone right. What next? Because the next slide has definitely got him, and uh, it's a weird one. But yeah, it's almost like they've gone. Well, what are these ones that you know? Um, yeah, Stuart Little, the Grinch. Um, the Wait, they made Stuart Little. No, Pretty they haven't. But Little? these are the no, no. Oh, dude, they if they haven't. do, I'm getting on that one, dude. Stuart Little. But there's Little. this guy that you know collects these two thousand pound. Imagine being that's all you'll have. It. Uh, rat gets chosen the, before you that guy from no country <laughs> from old men um, yeah uh, yeah bill the butcher i mean i mean do th you think do the... you think there's someone in the community that is like like lending present toys these originals mm. like I, how are they see, getting these originals yeah that's the I, question and, unless they're just combing the internet for people selling them and they're just buying yeah them and yeah, doing yeah, it that way it's, it's, but there's some odd you know great film i mean but, it, <clears throat> this this makes way more sense than most other stuff. Um, it's quite a popular film, Morgan Freeman, and it's really good. Um, it is I a just... great film, but uh, I mean, Morgan you know, for Freeman. for me, um, I want to have figures that kind of have, you know, pop on the shelf that have got a presence. And as much as I would might like a film, I find it really hard to have just someone like this just in their, you know, in their prison outfit and there's two of them and they're basically the same outfit it's not like having a you know an iconic star wars outfit or something that's just me you know um, <coughs> it doesn't it's not enough to say for this. me just to love the film i've got to love the the look of the character and you know um, yeah the buying the originals <laughs> the pre-order deposits we're giving them 20 yeah. figures they've yet Jesus. to release to date <laughs> true yeah true still no i sign mean the, the shawshank the shawshank redemption has been ruined by family guy for me They've just parried it so much um, that even if I went to sit and watch it, all I would, mm -hmm. I couldn't. I yeah. just couldn't anymore. Andy Crawford, I mean, four miles quite good. of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, I wish I could say he fought the good fight, but I cannot. It's that bit when, he, <laughs> when the ladies are just like fucking railing, <laughs> railing him. That I shouldn't really laugh, but it does. It does. <laughs> For every time he was anally raped, I got another freckle. It's like one of them. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so present toys. Again, with now this one I think is is for really good. I think everyone should have one of these in their collection. Um, <laughs> this is the release. <laughs> this is the present toys. Vincent Wilhelm van Gogh. At uh, <laughs> this is out. Uh, if anyone's remotely interested, it's out Q two. Um, 2022 and it's 116 quid I... what a dumb release release store little dude much more important than this guy <laughs> yeah I, just, I, I, it, I mean what the what the fuck has he got you so know? much paint on his shirt especially on the right shoulder much, I mean you see how much you there? see how much I get in my thumb when I'm painting a head like I can believe exactly. that exactly I was going to say it's like you know it's what makes me think of you with all the paint on your hand but I, you know, I don't think please buy this Ian like and that. then have Wado make you a head sculpt <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like the only one they sell uh, what well, is the I thing just... in the top left I think that's where you clean the brush it's a it's a little case he just pops his he just pops his ear in yeah Jesus but again, what is this that is below the that... canvas? Is that or below the easel? Is that his ear? That little liver-looking thing on the <laughs> this bit must be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a dog, dog I turd. A... I don't know. I can't. It's a can't pipe tell. in it. We just can't see the handle. Oh, the yeah, because okay, it's black. Oh, black. oh, it's got. A black, oh yeah, you're probably yeah. right. Well, they didn't no. do themselves any favors with the centering, but. No, but again, this yeah. is straight out of that guy's collection. Like, look at me. I've got a, a you know a one of fifty 
of this and it cost me two thousand dollars and you know and that, those okay. sort of fans i hate that have just buy a figure because of how much it costs and how exclusive it is even though why the fuck would you want this character i mean all right you might be a fan of his artwork but it's not you can buy you know, a fucking the, painting you know buy yeah, exactly a, buy a yeah 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 and, and i love his starry night painting it's a it's a beautiful painting it's brilliant love the song by um what's his face uh American Pie, Don McLean. Um, but yeah, don't want the figure. Not at all. That's the bit I, I mean, you'd probably it'd be quite nice if you to have some of those paints in. You know, just a little squeezed acrylic tubes. Be quite nice, wouldn't it's it? Oil but, paints, my guy. It's oil but, paints. Uh, well, yeah, but they look, you know, they look like an acrylic one. Ian paints the light when you're... My guy. He doesn't paint with, with artist touch. <laughs> Tube paints. Like that. Oh, he does. Tube. Look at that. He <laughs> does. Stand corrected. I yeah. So when, I so when he's building up his hands. figure of himself, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, it's, yeah. It's just uh, such a weird one. Bonus. I mean, yeah, I, I look at I look at some figures that people get, and I just don't get it. No, I, I don't. Also, I, I there's don't not really even get... there's not even really like a brush holding hand. Like no one paints like no. this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, look at the <laughs> hand selection. You, you're like one yeah. one yeah. hand that can hold the paintbrush, and that's not how you paint. No. Yeah. No, it's just a generic hand selection, isn't it? It's not even anything <laughs> even being thought of that, you know, this guy's yeah, a painter. I mean, it, what a bunch of idiots, it, The word horse shit comes to mind. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that was, that was that pile of crap. And then we got Super Mad Toys with uh, Evil Wallace Blade, uh, Blade Hunter 2046 at Q4 2021, 109 quid. Not. Q4 2049. Are you kidding me? They're not going to come out in 2021. There's no way they're releasing this figure in three, four, five months. That's a good price, though. I mean, their um, price is good. their K was one of the best figures, in my opinion, last year for third party. Mm. Um, if this mm -hmm. is anything like that, I I think it could be really good. I mean, it's a very simple figure. So I, maybe, yeah. maybe they could, but... Yeah, there isn't much to it. The head sculpt's probably the most complicated bit. I'm not, I don't like the look of the body, though. Purely because the neck looks wider than the head. Yeah. So I think it's yeah. probably just, you know obviously it's a cheap generic body, but it's like one of those really they old kind ones of from like ten years ago with a super shiny neck. Mhm. Mm so yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's for a hundred and nine quid. Can't complain. Um, I just don't have any Blade Runner toys, so. So you love this film, don't you? Don't you, uh, Zach? Um, I'm not a fan. I like. I, I don't. I like the first one, but this. I'm going to say I've watched this film, and I don't even remember this guy. So that's how much attention I must have been paying. Jesus, he's the <laughs> owner of. He's Neander Wallace from, like yeah. the company that makes the replicants. Yeah, I didn't like it. Sorry. Jesus, I really like the first one. Entitled. To yeah, first one. Great. First one's yeah, 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 amazing. Second one yeah. was a was a harder watch for me. I I must admit I didn't enjoy it nearly as much as the first one. I think cinema's oh, yeah. different. The first one, I don't think if the first one came out like this year would not do well. Mm. Mm -hmm. People's yeah. patience has changed. There's no way. You yeah, but it's Harrison, baby. He's not. He's not. He's not in the. He's not in twenty four six enough. And he just wears like. A grey mole t shirt and some jeans. It's a bit boring, isn't he? Well, he it wouldn't wear surprise his Blade, me. Blade Runner outfit and then get caught up. It's got to go in disguise, my guy. It's got to go in cognito. It wouldn't surprise me if he turned up to shoot and they were like, We've got this costume for you. He just went, Now fuck off. No, but you really have to wear this. Now fuck off. Yeah, yeah. Not doing it. Yeah. They went, All right, he's Harrison Ford. We'll let him get away with probably. jeans. Probably. Where were you like, mate? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Probably, yeah. So yeah. <laughs> that was that one. Um, and we have next. The Mr. Toys Slave Planet Princess. This is a head sculpt and outfit set. This is a new version, so there is a mm -hmm. set already out that doesn't look anywhere near as good as this. Um, yeah. And this is out Q2 2022 for 70 quid. I think yep. it looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's probably the best one I've seen so far. Yeah, well, I've just put together uh, my custom one, which I had on the last show. Um, which was using the um, so this they've obviously they've recast the um, yeah. end or return the Jedi head, which is what I mean. This is basically what using... Pete did. yeah, yeah. So um, I used the AC play outfit. Now a lot of people are saying that's not 
particularly accurate, but I mean, this isn't spot on either. Um, I quite like the boots. It depends how they turn out. I mean, they're not really screen accurate, but at least they look like they're some sort of material. Um, and I think the the kind of the the bikini bottom bit is is more accurate because it's it's a wider uh, on the hips than the um, the AC Play one. So I have actually ordered this set because I thought well, it's about I think it works at about fifty five pounds or something from. Uh, one six kit so I thought you know what I I'll just pick it up and if any of the bits are better than what I've got on mine then I'll swap them out if not I'll just move it on yeah. um, it depends because that, that head sculpt probably won't, I mean for all we know that is a Hot Toys one on there you know like, and we don't know whether the final one is actually going to look as good as that um, but yeah I think if it turns out okay I mean also there's a lot of um some of the sites are selling it with a with a body. Um, it's one of the TB League bodies, but the, there's always an issue with like me and Zach talked about it on the last show about getting the skin tones to match to the you know the, the head sculpt. And obviously with this one, if they've painted that head sculpt to go with this body, then it could be a good match. But it's very difficult. I had to, I had to, I ended up buying a second body for mine because the first one I had was just too too pink for the for the hot toys head and mm. i went with a light suntan and that was a much better um match but um yeah it's it's you know it's good i mean the the um the ac play one was 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 changing hands for quite a bit of money on on the secondary market i was lucky that i just got one um for retail that's someone i just bought and never and never used and the head sculpt on that one was was bad but you just cut the the bun and the and the ponytail off so um i think this is okay and you do and you get the um the vibro axe with it so that's pretty good as well so yeah, yeah i have i have yeah, pre-ordered it so I'll, I'll let you know what i think of it when uh, i'm not sure um it's they're saying it's late could be late this year or early next year i think apparently they're always yeah. they were always a bit late a bit later than they say their release dates are mr toys but, yeah 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 so mm -hmm. the last one is the Prime One. Now this looks really good. Oh, um, yeah, this is the Prime One Godzilla vs Kong Final Battle, out August to November 2022, and this will cost you 1,343 quid. Um, Which doesn't sound that bad. Amazing. So very quickly, what is the best K figure? Uh, Super Mad or uh, wait, which one's the Wallace figure? Super Mad, right? Yeah. Super Mad yeah. Toys was the yeah yeah yeah. Let me just double check. Yeah, Super Mad K is the best one by far. I've had the black box. Yeah, Super Mad. I've had the black box uh, Guess Me series K, and then they redid it as a battle damaged. But the the Super Mad is like a hundred times better. Better outfit, better head sculpt, uh, better paint work, better details on the gun. Like the gun actually has carbon fiber wrap, like the yeah. print on it. It's just, I mean. Mm -hmm. The only the only thing I think is better on the black box is the holster. That's yeah. it. Yeah. And what do you think Sorry. of the um the the Janix Jinx head? Is that the pinnacle of I no, I don't I think I think it's good. Don't get me wrong, I think it's real good. Uh yeah. and I re I really did want it. But mm -hmm. he dropped he dropped a run, but he's it was only like you only had like ten days to come up with two hundred and fifty right. bucks. And it just was not wow. was that uh, a good time for me. Yeah, it was painted. It was painted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It was just the it was just the wrong time for me to do that, um, mm -hmm. yeah. and I missed out. Um, but I I was looking. I actually took out that figure the other day, and um, I was like, man, this head sculpt is really good. And you get two head sculpts for the price. You get the yeah. normal and then the battle yeah. damaged. Um, I I don't know, because Ryan Ryan Gosling has like a weird face, like. One of his mm. eyes is like just a little lower than the other one, right? And like his ears mm -hmm. are kind of weird, and and Jinx has captured all that, yeah, um, really well. Um, I'm bummed that I missed out. I don't, see. I, I there's very few of his head scopes that I actually like. They all. I mean, Victoria could have painted it, but it, even just mm -hmm. like the raw cast price was just a bad yeah. time for me. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think the figure looked really good, and I know that you, you know, he featured quite highly in the um, CW Awards last year. He made the final, didn't he, for the figure of yeah. the year? 
So, you know, I know that you've, you've um, you know, regarded him very highly, and he did look did look good. Yeah. What were you going to say, Ian, about the Jinx? I d I, I'm not a fan of, like, pretty much any of these sculpts. All the ones I see, they all just look too... They look as though he's made Chinese versions of characters. Like, I, I'm just not a fan of them. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the the... The solo head sculpt. It just does. It's funny because um, I love the solo. I love the head oh, sculpt. Okay. The caveman hand Sorry. solo. That he's yeah, done. there you go. The, the uh, Neanderthal. Yeah, it's just. It's, oh, head solo. It's no. Can't. Nah, they look. They look better than hands. And derpy Luke as well. I just. Yeah, can't. the Luke's an odd one. I've got a few of those, and I and I really like the Obi Wan, but I know you don't like that either, Ian. No, that is too Chinese. It, it, it literally, it reminds me of um, the Big Bang Theory when they're stuck in the desert and they're all dressed as Star Trek characters. It looks like people cosplaying as these as the characters. It doesn't look like them to me. Um, I mean, I think uh, he's he's Michael J. No, he's Michael J. Fox was also bad. There was there's one he did that I quite liked. It might it might even be the Ryan Gosling. Mm -hmm. um, but on the whole, I just nah, I can't do it. Can't bring myself. But Godzilla looks good, and I'd get one of those if I had a grand and a half, and and an entire house to put it in because this yeah. fuck is huge. Yeah, it's very cool though. It is awesome, and you get three heads for Godzilla. The thing is, like with statues, and again, that's probably the same with six scale stuff as well. Is when you get multiple heads, like it's great, but I always feel that I want to display them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's why, like with Maul, I've ended up with two Darth Maul, so I can display the extra head. Um, yeah. So I end up always thinking like I need to need to have something to display it on because it would be a shame to just have it in the box. And those mm -hmm. three like King Kong heads look pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's great, but is do people really love the film that much? They want to spend a lot this much sort of money on this and the busts and things like that. I mean, it was a great, it was a fun movie, but. Um, I think there's, there's probably enough love for like either or character that people yeah. would. would I know get Godzilla's it. obviously huge in in Japan and stuff, but yeah. um, about you, Zach? I mean, that's where they're quite a big headquartered fan of... at. Yeah, I mean, it's cool, but I'm not fucking spending this much on this statue. <laughs> no, <laughs> nah. you have to. It doesn't sound that much more expensive than some of the prices that the the CW guys are paying for some of their statues. To be honest, no. But... What what is this price? I think your price is wrong, but there's no way this is a thousand. No, quid. this. So so this was one thousand four hundred and something. That was excluding shipping, though. So I you think, imagine I how think you're, big this I is. Think that, let me look that up real quick. Mm. I thought it was yeah. way more expensive than that. I, I mean, I could be wrong, but let me look it up real quick because so I remember like one, one. unless this is like a smaller statue, but someone said like no, this yeah, is this is so not no. Like, yeah, this is... You One got the wrong price, my guy. Wide. Yeah, this... Is it like 5K or something? Well, actually, I don't know. I actually don't know now. <laughs> now I'm questioning. So, look, when I saw... This is the one that I saw. It was 5,699. And this is... Yeah, that's the same statue that you have there. Same one, yeah. Oh, no, saying that. I might have got the pre-order price. Yeah, you might got the. You might have gotten <clears throat> the deposit price. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, yeah this is way like expensive. Oh no, grand, hang on, yeah. hang on. No, this is uh, <laughs> Toys Blunderland Prime One Studio uh, Godzilla vs Kong okay. Final Battle, one thousand three hundred forty-seven. I mean, how they have it that much cheaper than the actual retailer? Fuck knows, but this is. Uh, I mean, maybe that's what the here. tips are paying for. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's this a four is, grand tip. On that. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go <clears> look and <throat> see that that that's weird that that price that's is so cheap. Uh, let's see if I can share. It says Hong Kong. F yeah, it says 1907 US dollars, which is Hong yeah, Kong 14 weird. 8 thousand. That doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> Here you go. Yeah, yeah, that's weird. I don't know. Well, yeah. we better get. We better order some up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm not that's sure. Weird. Yeah, that's where I got it from. Um, weird. <clears throat> yeah, that because... makes no sense at all. But bear in mind the source. Is that just um, for one of the? Look, is that one of the just one of the sections? <laughs> it comes oh, in three sections. I think it's right. just for a Yeah, I think. Oh well, yeah, no, I think. Yeah, Sh bring up your screen again. That's oh, that's just, just Kong. 
Yeah, that's just the Kong half of it. There we go. Yeah, no, oh, that's just three for sections. Kong. Yeah, right, I was right. like, what okay. the fuck? The prices? That's actually not bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Danny said that and then, price and is then, just the Kong. And then you've got a Godzilla, right. and then you've got a middle piece as well, have you? It, Where's the, the do your bits. homework button? Oh, we got one. Uh, I don't have that on here. Oh gosh, here. Let me. Let me just. Let me just <laughs> do your homework. There we go. Oops, wrong one. Um. All right, we're back. Get on. How about new? <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. All right, let's yeah. get the slides back in. Yeah, so if if I could afford it, I would yeah. probably, and had a whole separate house to store it in, I'd probably do it, because it does look impressive, but um, yeah, it's a fucker. It is a fucker. Yeah. Yeah, so I think we've got to that time of the show again, where we need to say thank you to Mr. Watto. So let's play his little advert, shall we? <clears throat> Only Fools and Collecting is brought to you by Watto's Scrapyard. They 3D print parts for your hard to come by Kenner kind of vehicles. They 3D print 1 12th and 1 6th scale head sculpts from a massive back catalog. If there is a particular character you want he can design and 3D print it for you for a reasonable price. Check him out on Facebook and Instagram. Go forth, multiply. <clears throat> Go and look him up because he is awesome. Ah! Definitely. The Everyday Collector. Hello, Mr. John. You know you're more than welcome to jump on if you want. Just hey, drop John us a message. Yeah. yeah, definitely. It'd be nice to uh, have you on, mate. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, TV, film, games. The only thing I yep. think we're probably worth talking about <clears throat> is the uh, Eternals trailer. Mm -hmm. um, where the fuck have they been, is all I've got to say. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Where the fuck have they this been? is in the beginning. Maybe they're all dead by the time of the. Uh, well, no, the trailer made it look as though, like, all the way through, they'd just been fucking sitting there going. Uh, yeah, because someone says something about, oh, who's gonna who's gonna be the leader now that there's no Captain America and Tony Stark, mm. didn't they? Somebody says that around the dinner table. So, yeah. Well, this looks like um, this is effectively the equivalent of Martian Manhunter from the Justice League. Like, yeah, he's like, hey, yeah. boys. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, yeah, next time I'll be there. No, you're fucking... Next right. time, baby. Like, yeah, so... I mean, the trailer looked quite good, but I, I'm... Mm. I don't know. I, I'm not that excited about much Marvel stuff at the moment. Yeah, I don't know anything about these guys. It's kind of come out of... You know, I don't know... No, well, this is the problem. Them, but... now, now it's all the, the obscure stuff. Yeah. I think the interest has yeah. kind of waned a little bit. <clears throat> I mean, I'll give it a go. I'll, I'll watch it, but um, the trailer didn't really sell it to me. That bad. No, no. It's I mean, Loki. One. Loki and, starts and, next week, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be interesting. Is it, this is a film, is it, or a, or a TV show? It's a movie. Uh, film. It's a movie. Yeah. It's a film. Yeah, yeah. And obviously, Angelina Jolie. <laughs> quite. A, uh, I don't think she's been in dude, much recently. Bad. Is she? Fucking bad, dude. Yeah. No, it, it, um, it didn't look. No, no. It, it looks. Look it looks okay. It looks it promising, well. but uh, you know, it's it's obviously they they've got a lot riding on it if they're kind of trying to make this their kind of new team of superheroes. Uh, and it does remind me a bit of the of um, of the Jupiter Legacy thing that you know on that was on uh, Netflix as well that we talked about last show. They should just give and, the uh, people what they want. Like, give me some Miles Morales. Give me some fucking. <laughs> You know, Riri Williams. I don't need to see Eternals. Fuck those guys. Nah, they didn't yeah. do shit for fucking the whole phase one, two, and three. And shit was getting real. <clears throat> and that's, and so that's, had, the, that's yeah. the thing, isn't it? Like, you're watching, you'll be sitting there going, why the fuck didn't you do that like four films ago? Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. What well, I did watch, I've not slide for it, just thought, <laughs> I watched the um, Army of the Dead last night. The um, Yes. Zach, yeah, I watched Zach that. Really you, you watched it? I really enjoyed mm. it. And people were saying it yeah. was you know too long but i don't know it was kind of zip by for me i didn't, yeah, didn't I feel didn't, like it, it was uh too long about two rising. hours 20. yeah i thought so, it was just yeah, really good it. fun i loved dave batista he was brilliant in it um and have you watched it yet zach no absolutely no, you not. should you should absolutely not you know into I, zombie films no i i'll be honest not not a zombie guy 
if I'm being completely honest. Ah. Uh. My, that that that's a Netflix only that. movie, right? Like it released straight to Netflix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I haven't, I haven't yeah, seen yeah. that one. The, the that's only really the good. only issue I had I had with it was the dead pixel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's wild, yeah, so, dude. I don't understand. So that. I, thought, I, I didn't even I didn't even notice it. I th- yeah, I clocked it straight away, and I was like, right, fuck, my telly better not be broken. So I don't know why I googled it, and but it was deliberate. Yeah. yeah. A, well, it's not. It's not deliberate. They've left it in by accident. It's someone. Oh, okay. It's just a mistake. But it's um, apparently loads of people have been like going, love the film. Really hard to concentrate on what's going on with just one dead pixel. So did they fix it, or they're not going to fix it? They haven't fixed it yet. I don't think they have. Whereabouts is it in I the frame? I have to look for it because I didn't notice it. So it only pops up on certain on certain scenes, and it's right. only. I think it was because the camera screen, they were using a... was messed up. Right. Yeah. So divide the screen into four, and it would be in that top, yeah. that top, top left, left there. Okay. I'll have, yeah. a, I'll have a look. Um, yeah, it's really off the Because I was really watching on the projector, so it's probably less obvious. And obviously, yeah. you know, you wouldn't have a dead pixel um, in the same way. But I'll have a look. I'll definitely have a look for it now. Yeah. Um, yeah. And there's also yeah, some weird sort of out. really like out of focus shots and stuff as well, isn't it? Which people have said, I don't know if they're meant to be intentional or. Um, whether it's that same camera that was that was broken, but um, some of Hot it's a fuzz. bit out of focus and yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But I, yeah, I liked it. I enjoyed it. It was it was probably better than I better than I expected. So yeah, I'd reckon yeah. I'd recommend it for a watch. I've been I've been struggling for stuff to watch. If I'm honest, yeah. There's mm-hmm. nothing that really grabs me that I've Ava been Brown. desperate. It's on Netflix, and then they have that, yeah, Evangelion. I want... too. Eva- Evangelion, yeah. Evangelion, bro. <laughs> We're gonna have a super cut of all the just, hosts trying to say that. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> jumping on this on the bandwagon that that nobody can say it. So much hate, anything. dude. So much hate, dude. Yeah, I'll give it dude. a go. I don't mind. So good, dude. I'm not interested in it, but all 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 strength to you, mate. If you like it, that's fine. We're a bit more. We don't. We don't. We don't shit on each other quite so much as you guys on the uh, CW. Jesus, it's like a war. It's like a war zone. Sometimes. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> it's, it's brutal sometimes. Uh, a bunch of girls. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I've, I'm proper running out of running out of stuff to watch, so I will. I will try and watch that. Mm-hmm. Um, cool. So we are now on to custom corner. That's my favourite. That is yeah. by far my favourite. It's just it's really cool. random. Yeah, okay, right, yeah. So I can I'm gonna I'm gonna blather on for a bit now. Um I okay, so you all know that I I got my Jazz Inc. um dioramas uh open copy a few weeks ago. And You kept it quiet. Um, yeah. It was there was you know, there was a whole community out there waiting with uh <laughs> bated breath for the arrival of that. And then and then as uh, Zach will remember well, the postal service they they tried to let me down. Uh, Postal Pete, you know, man. I couldn't felt take I was, it. Yeah, no, I couldn't. I couldn't. I can't take the weight. Um, and then they delivered it on the Saturday, so that was great. Um, it was always always my intention to <coughs> um, dirty this thing up. Yost <coughs> uh, and his and his crew, brilliant job. But obviously, you know, they've they've given it a um, a, a basic paint job uh, straight out a the factory. Over. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that dickhead guy that reviewed it on youtube all that way back <laughs> uh, you know he know he was very um negative about some of the paint these guys aren't professional painters you know i think a lot of the artistry was is in the molding and in the you know the attention to detail so it never bothered me because i always intended to kind of you know weather it up a bit um and i just I thought, you know what? I, I should, so I put that grill, that great floor in, because that was just a, um, you know, a, a, a grey plastic bit. So that's just um, the, the the grids off the top of the Hot Toys Star Wars stands. Mm-hmm. I had a few of those, so um, that I think added a, a nice bit of detail. And then yeah, I just went to town weathering up. So I did some extra weathering on the seats, the rear seats there on the arms, um, a little bit more on the on the on the front seats, but mainly. Just with the console, just um, going on using some um, like metallic bronze paint, um, like pens. Um, mm-hmm. I got a photo or like a, like a three D rendering of um, 
the inside of the, of the cockpit and it really is filthy like all the stuff on the sides is all corroded and all you know um so yeah so that's kind of the the, the base work where I, I kind of um you know there's sort of a black wash on there um i got pointed out by um uh, i don't know if it was yoast or, or his son or whatever that i'd got the um the steering yokes the wrong way around so that's been corrected now the the bar bit should be towards them yeah um because he's like oh this this it looks really good but it needs flipping 180 and i'm like what, what are you on about the photo looks the right way up to me and then they posted a like a, a an on set photo and it's like oh, all right brilliant yeah. thank you but um yeah and and it's funny because i posted it up on 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 jazz inc's page and i and i was kind of the half expecting some you know negative and i did sort of preface it by saying you know some of you might this might not be your cup of tea um mm. and you might actually think it borders on sacrilege doing this to a you know 1500 dollar um custom piece but um mm. actually the you know the, the 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 feedback's been really good and, and a lot of people have said that they really like it and that they want to do a similar thing you know to theirs so uh, to me it, it just it just it individualizes it and also you know it's never leaving my collection bar some you know major disaster um yeah and the star wars um universe was built up and everything being beaten up and dirty and not working properly um and to me this is what what the falcon's all about so they call it a junk um, heap for a reason didn't they yeah exactly um it so yeah, um, I, I'm really pleased how it turned out. I just kind of went at it blindly. Yeah, it really, really good. I didn't have much of a plan, but um, yeah, I think it's just just about. And, and on the outside, of, I I wasn't. I didn't fancy doing the full repaint because some people said it's too dark. But to be honest, I don't mind because I've obviously got the Lego one underneath, and that is grey, so they match up mm. quite nicely. Um, so I've just scuffed it up a bit and everything. But I think um, uh, yeah, it just gives it that last you know one percent just to make it um just right for me so yeah yeah good fun good yeah you've done fun. well there pete looks good yeah yeah thanks mate i've just started painting this... the you know the ramp yeah. that steve oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. just yeah. started painting that and all the oh, reference cool. shots i can find for the ramp it's like bright white and i'm like yeah okay it's not gonna look good so I've... no i've sprayed it white and i'm kind of looking at a game nah i need to repaint that gray because it just doesn't look right but yeah um, no no, and uh, just to say there, good. thanks to final thanks to uh, Rainer for donating me <coughs> the seconds seconds headset that you can see uh, hanging off of the oh yeah the, yeah uh, yeah so that's quite cool. I, I never I never wanted something to... soon. Peter, oh yeah yeah yeah. There's soon. a yeah there's a knife. cool. Um, I never intended them to wear them, but I wanted to have them um, sort of just it's like a little Easter egg. The... Yeah, definitely, and I've also got. The uh, you might just about see it in the top see left the one dice. the 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 dice from the um, solo figure. That just mm -hmm. that's just the cherry on the top. That is so uh, yeah yeah. Although every time you take the canopy off, they kind of fall off, which is a bit annoying. But um, yeah yeah. Dude, but, the dice yeah. are a pain in the ass. I've got a set that came with. <laughs> Put a little drop of like white glue on them so they can stick I suppose there. Suppose so, but yeah yeah I could I could do yeah. I've I've got a set for Leia and I've got a set for um, mm -hmm. Solo and they're both a pain in the ass. However, yeah. you, you when you put it in the figure's hand, you have to try and get it as though like he's holding a fag. It's kind of like that. Yeah, yeah. Because it because obviously they're weighted. It the it, weight of it, it just, just drop it out of their hand and it's like it's like when I'm trying to um, when I've, I've it just doesn't my... look natural sometimes. No, because of the way no. They go. Yeah, and I've like I've had a similar thing with the slave Leia. Um, where I put a, a heavier chain on her neck, and I've got the skiff guard Lando holding it. Oh, such a pain mm. getting that him to hold that, and you just got it right, and then the weight of it just pulls it out of his hand again. And you're like, oh, yeah. fucking hell! But so I yeah, kind of wrapped really it round his wrapped it round his hand, and you just got to get just enough weight on that end to stop it from um, uncoiling. Mm. But yeah, yeah. So that was uh, that's what I, that's kind of I haven't anything new this fortnight, but this was my my little project that I. Um, I think that more than makes up for it, Pete. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely, definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so how about yourself, mate? You've been busy again. I've been super busy. Um, mm -hmm. So I have been, so last night I decided that, so I'd already repainted my Palpatine sculpt and every now and again I'd be doing something completely different. Like I was driving home and I thought, 
I'm going to try and repaint that sculptor again because I think I can get some more detail out of it. So what I did before was I just blackwashed it. So when I blackwashed it, it just brought out all the cracks and crevices and stuff like that. And it looks okay. Um, mm -hmm. So I thought to myself, mm, he's a bit more chalky and a bit dirtier looking in, Re in Return of the Jedi. So I went back in with yeah. a few more washes and a load of dry brushing and redid. And I'd actually bought some luminous that stuff which I don't think you can really see on the camera but some fluorescent yellow right. for the eyes so oh, I went, wow. and went back yeah, yeah. in and redid Dude, those that looks so, crazy. They're, so they're brighter um, but it's just such a big difference between the stock oh, I love it. and just yeah. adding very little to it um, because the, I think yeah. Hot Toys really rely on the cape and mm -hmm. the sorry not the cape the hood to, to cast some yeah. shadow and to give it that kind of menacing look because to me, they kind of got halfway through the paint job went, that do. that do. It's amazing, because when I look at mine in hand, it doesn't look as bad as that one on the left, but it's just the comparison no. of it. It just suddenly drags it back to, like, something, you know... Well, this is the thing. If you cover up my one, it doesn't yeah. look that bad. No, It, it no. doesn't look that bad. It's an okay sculpt. It's not yeah. the worst one I've ever seen. Um, and... Yeah, so I did that last night but while I was waiting for a few other commissions to dry. And then um, I ended up working on my Batman Begins. Um, <coughs> so I've started to talk a lot with Lux Sculpt. Um, really nice guy. Um, and I commissioned him to do a Batman Begins Sculpt because um, when I reached out to Unreal, like I say, he wanted my national insurance and shit like that. And mm -hmm. I was like... Mm -hmm. No, I think it's just size. to do with how stuff. Yeah, I think it's just to do with how mm -hmm. now we're not in Brexit and all this kind of stuff. And I thought, nah, can't build all that. So no. I reached out to Lux Sculpt and for a very reasonable price, um, he did this in about a week for me. Um, <coughs> sent me loads of photos, renders, and stuff, and I sent him a load of the cow and a Christian Bale in it. But the the begins cow trying to find reference photos for that is an absolute fucking nightmare because I think they used about three or four different types of cows. You should just use um, uh, Zach's necker. That's, that's yeah, I was the, just going to send you yeah. some necker pics, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah true. <laughs> but I, the, one I, the one I wanted was... Pete um, does. There's a, <laughs> <laughs> there's a shot of him like strolling towards the camera and he's kind of reaching behind his belt and he's a, the, the, the neck on that one was a bit thinner and that's the one I kind mm -hmm. of wanted. So... Um, he did that, and then I ended up... Uh, Lee Ward, good friend of the show, he sent me... Um, I bought off of him the... Tanish, is it Snacky Nation? The yeah. begins that they did. So I nicked the gauntlets off of that, mm -hmm. and then when I tried to remove the suit, I ended up ripping the suit, which was a bit of a pain in the ass. Oh. But um, I only really wanted it for the gauntlets and the hands, so I've taken that and put that on there, and I also managed to get some DX12 boots to put on there. And it's all on a Python. So... Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm quite happy with how that's turned out now. Um, so that's that one. Oh, that's finished. I don't have to order the new one. I'm quite happy with how that's turned out. Mm -hmm. And then Lux Sculpt again, the other day, did a Bill Burr, a Mayfield. So knowing that I'm getting your um, your Scout Trooper, the idea is I want to put yep. his head on it. So That'd I painted cool. up the other night. And it, it's, it's really good. So the file was 25 quid. And it came with two heads, one um, one necklace and one neck. And mm -hmm. then you get like the little bust that you can put it on. Oh, yeah. So I've still got cool. to paint yeah. it. But that's the, that's the bust bit. So when I eventually do get the Scout Trooper, I can just pop the head on that. And this is, this mm -hmm. is what I wish a lot of companies would do, is when yeah. they give you two head sculpts, give us something like that. Just mm -hmm. something that we can pop next to it with it on, just to, just so we can display it because some yeah, of these head scabs yeah. are brilliant and you can't do. Yeah, it's a shame it. to yeah not to not to have them on display. Yeah, so with the bill, but I might need to go back and revisit the eyes because I'm not quite happy with them. But mm -hmm. on the whole, it's come out okay. And he's in, yeah, yeah. Like, I say, mean, the, the sort of the three quarter the... side views look really look, look spot on. As you mm. say, maybe just just the eyes. But, um, yeah, yeah that would look put cool with the scabs. Grey in but... there because they're a little bit mm -hmm. too blue. But yeah, yeah I've, I want to I want to wear that on the scout trooper. But yeah, I've been um, 
I've been doing a lot of laps. Yeah, well, you know, lately. I do it for three eighty to you, mate. You know, I've seen him go for four hundred. So um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if you saw that. Zach, it's the, in the uh, shenanigans. The it's in the next. It's in the next slide. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll tell. Let's go straight into shenanigans yeah. then. Look yeah. At that. Yeah. That is un, unbelievable. I didn't. I must admit, you snuck that one in. I didn't realize. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. Let's have a look. Shenanigans. 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 What? <laughs> this so the the one on the left tickled me a little bit and it yep, was um, yep. it was the difference between uh, the US and the UK the US one says uh, for the first time since covid la last night sat in a movie theater when the lights dimmed some guy shouted hell yeah back at the movies and everyone clapped and i cried uh, on my damn on mask my damn watching mask. movie watching movies at home suddenly i felt like traveling by looking at instagram and then in the Wait, UK what? we're back Wait, yeah, I, I cried on bit. my mask. Watching movies at home suddenly felt like traveling. Is that like what is that even by looking traveling? at Instagram? Is that a basketball? I have no thing? idea. No I'm idea. Fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I thought. Yeah. Um, and then in the UK, we're back to the cinema to see Cruella. There was an emotional current running among the audience after the last year. At the end of the film, someone started a round of applause, and I'm pleased to say no one joined in, but someone shouted "fuck off" instead. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that I think that pretty much sums up our yeah. sense of humour yeah. here, and um, <laughs> and that is very much Brilliant. the British way of things. Is we're not going to join in, but we will tell you to fuck off. Yeah. Yeah. I quite like that. Um, and then in the groups, this guy um, got absolutely fucking destroyed. Um, he listed this in a few groups. So the Hot Toys Mandalorian Scout Trooper, new in box, £400, including fees and postage. That's good of him to include those. Yeah. Um, I, purchased yeah, yeah. A few, I purchased a few of these, so selling <laughs> one. You can obviously buy one from overseas cheaper, maybe, but includes the below points, and he's gone on with a load of fucking it's nonsense. Like, yeah, um, import tax, 50 quid. Um, shipping, 40 quid, yeah. All this stuff. It just, And you know we were saying the other day, about, we, were, we were saying just shoes and stuff like that, yeah. and people selling stuff, and this is the other side of the coin, where you have people... Either he's been stupid enough to buy two at that price and just wants his money mm -hmm. back... Or yeah. I think he's chancing his arm, and that's yeah, with, yeah. that's yeah. without that's without the uh, that's without the the bike. What but a fucking idiot! Just, There's just a dude saying, that's yeah. been posting these fucking things in BST, and he's like always like you know I've had it with the smart ass comments, and I'm like, bro, why? Like you you constantly buy these things mm -hmm. from Hong Kong and you pay these outrageous prices, mm -hmm. and immediately you sell them. Yeah, like just don't buy them. Lose yeah, the exactly. NRD and then you have to deal with the shit. Like, yeah, and it's just so like guy, snide the comments. I think he got booted from some of the groups, didn't he? Because it all got a bit heated. I know a friend of the show, Lee Ward, um, had uh, said, you know, had, was the moderator on one of them, and he basically said, you know, we're all, you know, we're trying to do each other a favor here, and 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 you know, it that's that's scalping to the max. That is. Um, <laughs> Well, I think stupid. one of the points as well was that he he was like posting three or four things like straight after each other. Yeah, like yeah, it wasn't like yeah. he was just posting like one big no, no. post. It was like just no. like one after the other, boom, 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 mm -hmm. boom, boom, boom. Yeah, all of which yeah. was pretty laughable. But yeah, it yeah, just. But, um, I mean, if you're mug enough to pay four hundred quid for that, then yeah, I don't have any. I, just, I don't have any sympathy. I mean, what are they still on sideshow? They you can still get them. Yeah, like two twenty. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's have a look. They're, I mean, they're, they're not, I, and, I don't know exactly, but is, I'm looking that yours should, as long as it doesn't get any customs on it, yours should come in at under 180, I'd have thought. Yeah, like looking at... Um, yeah, 220 US dollars. Yeah, because yeah. this is, is like what's... 170 quid? Yeah, 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 yeah. Quid? that's what I'm expecting. Jesus. But don't get hit for, yeah. Yeah, it just, it's madness. Dude, he's got to pay for like, the tip, bro. Reminds Tim <laughs> said not Blunderland, yeah. so that it, it yeah, won't be marking it so, at full price. Yeah, so when I look on Sideshow with proper money, it comes up 160, and you can still yeah. pre-order it, and it ships June apparently. So with so you've been with looking shipping, at what, 200, 
two hundred odd. Yeah. Yeah. By the mm-hmm. time yeah. shipping and um, yeah, yeah, and yeah. The fees and that are bunged on. Yeah, two hundred quid. Like yeah. it's just madness. Absolute fucking madness. Um, but yeah, that was that yeah. was the uh, shenanigans that we saw. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I saw that as well. He called Lee in the group toxic and rebooted him. Right. Right, Lou. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he started throwing yeah. his toys at his pram. Can't. Yeah. Yeah. Well, definitely. Yeah. Hundred percent. Definitely. Hundred percent. Go on in. Run us through these these lovely yeah, yeah. lovely so, kind of people. This uh, time of the show, we'd like to uh, give a shout out to the sweet angels um, on the Patreon. Um, so I'm just going to read uh, read the names out. Uh, ben Porter, Sean Fear, Ian CB, Rennie Mendez, Eric Mariscal, Quinn Aguirre, Lima Hernandez, King Louis, Mark Pearson, Paul Schreiber, James Colley, Red Right Hand, Dan Lee, Sweet Danny Lee, Deanie Martin, Stephen Crep, Big Fern, King Zach, Susan Maraquin, Mike Cruz, Lisa Martin Bermonski, Rick De Gregorio, Gregorio, sorry, Alvin Jules. Jonathan, Everyday Collector, whoop, whoop. Bowler Boy, Jimmy James, Mario <laughs> Cortis, Stephen <laughs> Percher. Was, was clean, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. That was like... <laughs> what? <laughs> it just uh, came out of nowhere, and it was so cool. Yeah, I got, I got, I got, I got a bit excited. I did. I did. Pizza where they're doing um, the sprinkler on the dance floor. <laughs> whoop, Roll whoosh. the dice, my guy. Sean Usby, as he as he now likes to be called. Uh, Scott Bradley, Stephen Maria Stanley, Jessica Churras, Lord Voldemort, Eddie Manzanares, Manzanares, Joe Corpus, and Mr. and Mrs. JB. Thank you very much, everybody. Much appreciated. Whoop whoop. And then, yep, yep. Uh, so if you um, if you're not already a Patreon and you fancy um, donating a little bit of your or hard-earned cash to help support the network and keep these fantastic sweet angel uh, hosts in a in a job. The manner of job, which we're accustomed. Know. Yeah, the manner, yes, 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 yes. Um, sweet angel tier, $5 per month. I'm not going to convert it to uh, proper money. Um, I'm sure it does it for you. If, uh, the if Queen's you, if currency. From, yeah, if you're not from the US. Um... You get five. Uh, you get a sticker sent straight to your door um, and access to Ox After Dark replay. Certified Crispy includes an official Certified Crispy certificate on first pledge. Assistance with figure fixes by Zach. Apparently, you've got message him beforehand rather than just send it to him. Um, I gotta know what to expect, my guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, and as we've we've always said, like me and Ian, we we tinker a bit as well. So if you've got any, you need. If you're in the UK and you and you need something looking at, then by all means message us and we'll we'll see if we can help out. Um, and then the top tier, the water guy, uh, folks in this tier get a signed collective weekly live 18 by 24 silhouette poster on first pledge. Doubles all the stickers we send, and as I say, to uh, send uh, give a copy to um, all your friends and family, spread the word. Um, and the lovely Ian here of Dark Side Customs will paint one sculpt a year for you after you've been um, pledging for three months. Uh, you are responsible for supplying the head um, and paying shipping both ways, and, and uh, hopefully none, but if there's any import charges or anything. Um, yeah, and all the benefits of the previous tiers. So the June Patreon benefits, we have the small stalk, small stalk, God, that's, <laughs> that's, <coughs> that's I wasn't talking small about stalk. Dylan's, Dylan's peanut. Um, wow. The, well, now he's cleanly the, shaved. Is it, is well, it small, and he's is not it because he hasn't got, more? because he hasn't got, uh, he hasn't got the, uh, what's it called? The, the lawnmower 4.0. 4. He hasn't maybe. got one. He hasn't got one, so he's 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 bush. He's natural bush. Um, I I heard though he's very similar to an action man or a GI Joe down there. It's just completely. Just oh, I believe you. Just, I believe you accused me of, uh, of, of that of me having that kind of genitalia once before as well. Is You've this some sort of fantasy of yours? There's just, there's just a hole Jesus. there that you piss out. Of. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> And there was me saying we were nice to each other on this show. Um, yeah, the new Small Talk logo. We do it uh, pretty cool with the with the Starfield background. Um, and well, what we can say about this? The Ox Father sticker, the father of the network, the one and only Zach. That is beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So it's weird to see him without a hat. 
Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I like the hat. I, I'll probably lose the hat once uh, I get my, a new ring light. Because I got to have mm. it from this way. Because mm -hmm. my eyes, like I use it because it's so bright. But if yeah, I turn it off, you can't okay. see me. Because yeah. the way the lights are in this room. It, it, yeah. So I use mm -hmm. the hat. Uh, also, I just don't do the whole... Like, Ian's got it good. He's got nothing to deal with it there. I mean... Nothing. I gotta just shave it all off, bring it on home, and you know, then I'll be good. So you're not you're not a gel man. You don't you can't be doing with gelling your hair up every morning and stuff. No, not like John. Can't be greasing myself up like that. But <laughs> no, uh, no. Uh, yeah, uh, tonight I will. We're going on a date. We're going on a date tonight. So I gotta. Ah, cool. <laughs> gotta you make John sound. You make John sound 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 like the greased greased up deaf guy from Family Guy. Jesus. Um, yeah, Touching so... all the reissues. There you go. <laughs> Beautiful, scary. beautiful stickers there. So that's that's the uh, yeah the June. These are very there. idealized portraits, obviously. Um, <laughs> you're looking you're looking fly, my boy. Definitely. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, do you want to talk to about this one, Zach? Yeah. So um, T Public, uh, they do sales a few times a month, um, but uh, typically in June and I think it's September, if I remember correctly, uh, we usually do charity auction on. Uh, with mm -hmm. the funds from T Public, and uh, what we're what we'll do is we donate one hundred percent of the sales to uh, different charities. So uh, mm -hmm. this month being Pride Month, uh, we yep. uh, have a. Do you want to switch the slide? We have a T-shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. It's the uh, Collecting Weekly Pride two thousand twenty one. We've done it every year, uh, and uh, this year we're donating all the all the proceeds from every all the shirts, not just this one, mm -hmm. uh, to the Trevor Project. It's an American nonprofit founded in nineteen ninety eight, focusing on suicide prevention efforts among uh, the uh, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, and questioning youth. Uh, mm -hmm. It's like a telephone line that has trained counselors. If you're in a crisis, yeah. you can call them, and it's uh, you know free, confidential, hundred percent, you know. Uh, and you know, I, th I think right now we have like twenty dollars from T Pub. It's not like a very lucrative website, mm -hmm. um, but you know, whatever that ends up with, you know, if it's fifty bucks, a hundred bucks, yeah, yeah, forty yeah. bucks, like whatever, yeah. we'll we'll donate that. Um, yep, yeah, every little helps to that charity. Yeah, so every yeah. every little yeah. bit helps. Mm -hmm. uh, Definitely. And, you know, the suicide rate among that community is so high. So you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I asked yeah. some people yeah. it, to recommend a charity, and that was one I was already looking at, but I've. I've heard from some of our team that it's it's a, a real uh, helpful charity. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's uh, it's just a thing we do. We'll do another one. I think it's in September for breast cancer awareness. And, uh, you know, I think I think a lot of companies around this time, you know, they change the logos. And, you know, hopefully people don't think we're just like trying to get all your money. It's, it's really just a charity thing. And, you know, a lot of people that are in my life are, are part of this community and friends that I know. So, yeah. No, yeah, I, I think, think it's, it's I think it's good. Them. We, you know, we, we we try and like we we pride our uh, the, the collecting weekly network on being, um, you know, a friendly network, um, and we, you know, we we kind of like to do a little bit for for the community if we can. Um, you know, I think I think it's a good uh, a good charity, Zach, and uh, yeah, hopefully we get um, yeah you know, a few bucks for we'll that. We'll see what happens. Every little yeah, bit yeah. helps. Yeah, um, definitely, definitely. We also and, have a giveaway. Yeah. Uh, our friends over at One Six Corner, Jenny, I messaged her on Sunday, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Hey, you know, we just hit 900 subscribers. I was hoping maybe, you know, if you guys want to maybe do a gift card for your sponsorship, uh, just let me know." And uh, it was like nine o'clock at night, and she got back like in five minutes. She's like, "Hey, dear, uh, yeah, we could do a gift card. How much do you want? Or do you want a Hot Toys Iron Man?" I was like, "Yo." I want the Hot Toys <laughs> Iron Man. If that's an option, I'll take Amazing. that. And so yeah. it's it's a Hot Toys Team Suit Tony uh, mm -hmm. giveaway sponsored by One Six Corner. Uh, to be eligible, you have to subscribe to Collecting Weekly YouTube, which, you know, if you're here, you probably are already. Uh, join yeah. the One Six Corner Facebook group. It's a private group. You just have to answer what their website is. The answer is obviously one six corner.com. And then on there, there's a post uh, with the graphic that you see here. And you just have to comment, hashtag whatever it takes on that giveaway post and I will uh, assign you a number. And once we hit a thousand subs, the first collecting weekly live after that, we'll do the drawing and then you have like 24 hours to claim your prize. Uh, when you claim your prize, we'll verify you're a subscriber. And uh, if you are and everything checks out, you're part of their uh, one six corner group, they will ship it to you free of charge wherever you live. So it's uh, yeah, very generous of them awesome. yeah, uh, thank you very much. to yeah. do that for us. So. 
uh, you know, so we're trying to hit a, a thousand subs, and yeah. uh, I think we're at so nine thirty ish so far. So uh, nine twenty. I just checked it. So that nine twenty eight, I pulled up on okay. last yeah. night. So yeah, so we're, we're close. We're you know just over seventy away. So um, I think you know we can hit this pretty quick. To be honest. Um, yeah, I'm yeah, hoping by the end fairly, of the month we can hit this. Yeah, yeah, and that's a you know that's a big big landmark for the network. Um, definitely. So yeah, uh, yeah. It'll please, it'll uh, open up. Uh, more opportunities for mm -hmm. us for like super chat and partnership with YouTube. And, yeah. you know, obviously, you know, we run the Patreon and, and I talked about this in after dark, but we run the Patreon and then we do like sponsored stuff. Um, but it's not like, you know, the Patreon I'm, I'm buying a hot toy every week or month or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's not like that. No, no, you know, no. the, the Patreon pays for equipment and uh, hosting stuff and our website. Yeah. We don't, mm -hmm. we don't have a website. We have like a domain, um, yeah. but it, yeah. it pays for all that. And I mean, I, we, we did a, we recently did an equipment inventory just now that, you know, Ian had a problem with this camera, but we wanted to kind of get an idea of what we have, what's functioning, what's not functioning. And we've spent like over $3,000 in the past. Yeah. Year and and, and it just means because, because this all used to come out of our own pockets, didn't it? And like, we were sending some yeah, money exactly. over to you guys to get you, you up and running and, you know, vice versa and stuff. So, um, it just takes that. You know, it's 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 great for us because it, it it means that we can kind of just do this for fun, and it's not um, you know, it takes the f sort of financial pressure off of it as well. Um, yeah. So yeah, so please yeah. yeah, get on board with this, and hopefully you'll win uh, win a figure. Be brilliant. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, it's a great uh, great uh, giveaway that they sponsored. Yeah, fantastic. And uh, final slide, Ian. You normally know take this one away, so I'll yeah, leave it with you. so. So this is this is the Empire. Um, so we have Small Talk, which is the smaller side of collecting, which is like your six inch and, and all that kind of scale. Um, yeah. I've got to listen to the last one. I haven't listened to that yet. Um, it's good. Really, yeah. really good guys. Yeah. Uh, collecting Weekly, which is the main flagship show, so to speak. Um, yep. Yeah. Really good. Love them. Can't complain. That's a busy show now. We've got, what, five, a... five regular presenters now. I'm sorry. What was that? I'm sorry. I was. I'm sorry, it's, 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 the it's, it's, a, it's a busy show now. You've kind of got five. Yeah. Yeah. So for the longest got Mario, time, Eddie, it, and Jonathan. Yeah. Right? Yeah. For the longest time, it was Dean and I, and I mean that's fine. But uh, you know, having more people, we're able to push it a little longer. Uh, yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. you know, get get some different views because you know yeah. Dean and I have known each other for so long. I think sometimes our views are pretty pretty similar, and it's not like mm -hmm. we're, yeah. he's a yes man to me or vice versa. Uh, but having John and, and Eddie and Mario, oh, the, the, the John and Eddie them. dynamic is fantastic. Oh yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's it it's it's up. great. You know, they're great guys, yeah. and you know, for the longest time, um, like I said, it's just been Dean and I. So we're, we're glad yeah. to have those those guys here, and you know, they all they all bring their talents to the network, and mm -hmm. you know, on the show or outside of the show with the prep, and you know, John does his yeah. Instagram thing, and you know, it's just real. Um, it's been a it's been a blessing to have them uh, join the team the past few months. So yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's been great. Team. I love it. It's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you've got uh, OFAC, which is us, um, the jeweled in the crown. Um, you've I got love that. <laughs> in the UK at least. Anyway, in the UK, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you've got <laughs> collecting rarities, which, as the name suggests, is the slightly rarer. Uh, I think they were looking at spunky tissue the other day, which is good. Uh, you got the in and oh, outs of uh, the in and outs of collecting, <laughs> uh, which yeah, uh, uh, killing it. I was um, yeah, yeah. It, uh, their last one was really good. Um, was really really good. Uh, yeah, and then yeah. CW clips, which again, like, I'm loving that on Instagram. <laughs> There's some really yeah. good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. We got a few on one from one. tonight. Should get on there. Hopefully. Yeah, <laughs> actually, uh, one thing with the clips, uh, Eddie is going to put in the chat in a little bit. But if you guys have any clips that you want added, just clip them mm -hmm. yourself, send it to him. Okay. And then that way it'll cut down the workload. This is the clip sticker. It's coming out in July. Oh, nice. Uh, we just uh, we just ordered this, and then uh, I'll drop an OFAC exclusive. Uh, we also just ordered magnets for July. I don't. People were all about the magnets this month. They're like, I got a magnet collection. Got all my magnets everywhere, yeah. and people were jealous yeah. that they didn't have certain magnets. But uh, <laughs> we're doing the CW Founding Fathers magnet. So it's me, Dean, Annie, and Rainer, uh, kind of like characterized oh, yeah. into yeah. Um, uh, what is it, Mount Rushmore? Rushmore. Oh. Yeah, yeah, there you Matt go. Mount Collect More, yeah, as they cool. call it. So that'll be uh, that'll that's be uh, the July sticker there. Cool. 
Yeah. So we're we gonna um... get um, you're gonna get to us for the caricatures at some point as well. Yeah. Uh... Uh, just kidding. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's the plan, right? Because um, at this point, I I don't I, I hope we don't have to add more shows because. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm getting gray hairs just dealing with you guys and everybody else, but, uh, <laughs> you know, at, yeah, at some point I want to get uh, the, the team, you know, or maybe like a Pete and Ian character sticker, like a dual sticker yeah, for that. Cool. Yeah. yeah, I want to yeah. get, I want to get, uh, it would be cool to have, uh, you know, what do you, what do you guys call it, the Full Monty? Be cool yeah. to have the Full oh, Monty. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ, Throwback. really? Throwback. <laughs> Is that a bad word over there? Well... Uh, yeah, I, no, I, I think you mean I you think want Pete, naked. I think, <laughs> yeah, I think Pete thought you meant do it yeah, as the full like a naked, um, naked full. Oh no, frontier. like the full team. <laughs> <laughs> no, Pete, no, only if you're wearing the pajamas, my guy. Come on. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> Some fucking disco pajamas. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to send us a manscape kit first. Pete, can you hit yeah, me with that whoop yeah, whoop again, please? <laughs> whoop whoop. Dude, that was that that was legendary, dude. It was so fucking. That was up there with that was up there with Lemur, bro. That shit was so funny. Um, we also have live unboxing. John is killing it on that program. Mm. He's, uh, I mean, his last live unboxing like has as much views as the last CW. I was like, God damn, I got wow. got in and outs on my back. I got fucking John on my back, dude. You guys are doing. You guys are <laughs> yeah. killing it. Yeah, uh, yeah, they're doing then, really well. Yeah, after dark uh, every Wednesday at ten thirty. Um, any host is welcome to join that. It's a fun time. We tried to play a game last night where we were uh, uh, trying to defuse a bomb. I don't think it, yeah, it, saw, I don't think yeah. it worked very well. It's I funny because I almost like jumped on because I think it, I woke up about four o'clock in the morning. I thought, I think they're live. And I was just like, I can't. I, it's just too much effort yeah. to kind of. But yeah, I, I want to get on there at some point, definitely. Hell yeah. Dude. That, that, and then. Yeah, you have such a laugh. Yeah, you could play Scribble with us or like, I mean, we just, yeah. we just fuck around. Yes. Yeah. It's a good time, and then Ox plays. I've been pl I bought a game to play. I don't think we're gonna play because no one really liked it. But the bomb game I thought was fun. Uh, I also mm -hmm. just downloaded uh, Ultimate Spider-Man. It's the old. Uh, it was like a GameCube PlayStation oh, game. Oh, just I the just one where it. you're literally just above the clouds. No, 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 no. That that's Spider-Man like two. Yeah, that's way back. No, I'm, this one it's like a cel shaded Spider-Man <laughs> game. Uh, a lot of people say it's the best Spider-Man game ever made uh, before oh, the PS4. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I I got that one. I want to play that. I also play Flight Sim. I'm learning how to fly the, um, what is it, the uh, 782 Neo, mm. which is, uh, you know, I think after like a week, I think I'd be good to fly it. But no, apparently you need a lot of training to fly a, a, a passenger jet. I thought after <laughs> like six of them flights, I'd have it down to rights. But no, it's very difficult. Uh, but yeah, so we just play a bunch of games on there. Um, get a, I just updated the LSPDFR. They had a bunch of updates that, that were dropped. So hopefully get back mm -hmm. to playing the police game also. Um, but yeah, mm -hmm. we have a lot of fun there. And, um, you know, it's it's a great little network. And, you know, everyone has a lot of fun. And, um, you know, we're uh, we're proud of, of the work everyone's doing. So Very cool. Yeah, it's good. Well, I think that is about us. Um, yep. So what I would, what I'd like to do is leave you all with a little video that I've just dug out while um, <laughs> while we've been talking about manscaping Jesus. and whoop, whoop. no 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 no. If <laughs> any time anyone mentions the whole manscaping thing, this is the only thing that ever goes through my mind. Right, so I'm going to leave you all with this, um, and let's find it. Jesus. Right, this is all I think of when you guys go on about it. <laughs> You didn't share the audio. Uh, I'm gonna hit I, you with what, one of these. It's not working the way you think it is. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you know, no, no, you gotta hit stop. You gotta hit stop. Share screen, and then share share screen. Share audio. Then Chrome tab. Then click the Chrome tab. That seems far too complicated for a three minute. <laughs> share, share screen. Share audio. Chrome. Make sure you click. Make sure you click oh, share audio go. on the bottom line. Right. So right, we'll edit this. No one to know. Take right, two. this is all I ever, this is, yeah, take two, this is all I ever hear. The age of 14 is a roastery named Vilma, ritualistically shaved my testicles. There really is nothing like a shorn scrotum. It's breathtaking, I suggest you try it. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally, any time anyone was going on about those fucking kits, that's all I could think of. Um, so yeah, I'll leave you with that one. So have fun, everyone. Enjoy. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Cheers. Good night. See you next time.
see you next Thursday. Yeah. Or the one after.